Welcome in, Say It All Out, episode 70, Say It All Out Sports. 70? Episode number 70. That's impressive. There's wow. some weird, uh, on Apple it says, seven. <clears throat> we're already at 70, but on Podbean it says 69, so I, I don't even know which one. We're just going to go which with 70. Missing? I don't know. I think there's a skip on Apple. It goes from like you know 56 to 58. It just skips number 69. Maybe there's yeah. one that got, <laughs> got 69 got canceled. 69 got canceled. by Google. Yeah, so episode 70, we are back. I got Pete and Bob back together. It's been a couple yeah. weeks since we had you, us three, on at the same time. We had Stenson and Dave and I just mismatched. Yeah, I'm pretty, exci- I'm pretty excited here. about this one. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. be good. The, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Obviously, conference tournaments uh, are underway. Tickets are being punched to March Madness. Um, Fired up. Selection Sunday's coming up, one of the best days of the year. Unless, and then you're, unless you're a Duke fan, you're not excited yeah. at all. Feel bad. <laughs> Got to get on a run right now. You're a Duke fan. I wa- yeah. but what sucks, even if you're a Duke hater like myself, you want um, him in the tournament. I want him in the tournament so they can lose to Mercer and Lehigh Stop, every now and then. Knock it off, dude. Those if we get bad. in, we're winning it all. <laughs> Lehigh, yeah. If Those Duke, get, if Duke gets in, they're winning it all. Um, if you haven't yet, speaking of Selection Sunday, if you haven't yet, myself, us three, uh, Santa Lot Sports, and then the uh, Off the Ball Network are putting on a contest, a bracket challenge on ESPN. Go on Instagram, it'll see the details, but search Off the Ball Network in the groups and then the password to join us podcast with a capital P. Okay. We're okay. working on prizes. Um, we're talking about a hundred dollar gift card to Amazon, an appearance on our show, and then all oh, that's there's priceless. like there's like twenty other podcasts involved. So they're gonna be giving out nice. merch, their own merch. Um, and we're in talks of, you know, other prizes. So yeah. You can join now. Um, and then obviously the bracket will be out next week. So so do we know what the prize Every, is going to be just yet? Not, yet. not everything. Not yet. We, we know those, you know, the gift card's going to be in there, the show appearance. Um, That's I got priceless. Some, right I got there. a couple hats that right. we're going to throw in The show in appearance there. is priceless. Priceless. It depends on who you are, but you yeah. Well, I mean, you can't put if, a price tag on hanging out with us three. That's, you know, I mean. There yeah. you go. And they get to pick, I'll let them pick the topic and we'll just go back and forth. It'll be a fun time. But yeah, jo- go join that. And then, uh, so this episode should be fun. We're kind of switching up. Next week, we do have March Madness brackets. We're going to be doing a full bracket breakdown before we head out to Las Vegas. Ooh. Ooh. Bracket uh, breakdown. Appalachian State coming at 16 and gets matched up with Michigan Winthrop. at 1. I like Winthrop. <laughs> Appalachian Winthrop. State, Michigan. Winthrop's long. Big Julius. Uh, uh, yeah. Burns. Burns Jr. And yeah. then what's yeah. the arms? The guy ar- Arms is his last yeah. name. Yeah. Just uh, He's got big arms. <laughs> yeah. Is that really I his last name? I just looked at the roster last night after he said that. I was like, dang. And then Vodrin. That's your guy. I haven't watched yeah. him yet. I like Vodrin. But anyway, uh, this episode, we're going to be doing our favorite. So our favorite players of all time and our least favorite players of all time in baseball, football, NBA, and college basketball. Yeah. And we'll have some whys on why we don't want, don't like them or love yeah. them. Some memories. And then at the end, we'll talk some UFC 259 <laughs> fallout. So let's get into it. We'll start in the NBA. I mean, you grow up and you shoot you know, the trash at the trash can and you yell people's names. Who yeah. was one? Who was your? Who is one of your guys? My so I went like point guard, shooting guard, small forward, okay. power forward. Yeah, I went like one here. of each one. All right, who's so your my, point guard? My point guard growing up, I think it's a lot of people. This is Allen Iverson. He was so exciting yes. to watch. Yeah, like it, you, it was must watch TV every night. Turn the game on. If this will, if the Sixers on TV every night back then. He's a little guy. Oh, dude. The Just answer. torch and tits out there. What was your favorite? Well, I already have. I can think of Ty, uh, stepping the over Ty Lue. Stepping over Ty Lue. That's the, not uh, crossing Jordan. Crossing Jordan's early. That's his rookie year. Yeah. That's early yeah. in the days. You know what I mean? But Allen in Philly with a bunch of nobodies was just yeah, 40 literally, shots. Literally 40 a bunch shots of nobodies. up a night, dude. Aaron McKee and Dikembe. Those were kind of the only two. I think. Yeah, who was the other Scott big white or, uh, dude? Eric the Snow? Center? Eric Snow was a shooting guard. The big white dude, center. Oh, dude. He's a bomb. I don't know. It was a weird <laughs> he last He was a bomb. He's probably on my least oh, favorite dude. list. But he was uh, to me. He was. So I know excited. Marcin Gortat played with them at one point. I don't the know Polish he, hammer. Yeah, that's he was guy. on the Sixers then. Back in the day, yeah. If we play like fifteen years or what? Probably the Polish. I don't know. I'm he might sure only played he, like one year or something. But he was he was there. Eric Dampier, I think was Eric Dampier was a center. He might have been on there. He was. Yeah. It was Dampier, Snow, Aaron McKee, Iverson, McKee. I can't think. There's of a bunch of guy. other guys, but anyway. All right. Yeah, so Allen um, Iverson, who's your who's your point guard? My point guard was uh, Jason White Chocolate Williams. I, oh, I knew he was that was fun. I already knew that. I mean, <clears throat> I, even though I hated the Kings Lakers rivalry during then, I really hated it more with the Mike Bibby era. Yeah. Just because I really couldn't stand Mike Bibby. 
But uh, no, Jason White Chocolate Williams. I mean, the, the tattoos, elbow the, old elbow, the pass. elbow passing, the handles, the dribbling, like everything that full wanted to be like was i wanted to be you he know what so i mean good. like he was he was my guy he I was like to... the m&m of nba right he was embarrassing white rapper but too. white chocolate exactly no i loved him the white boy tatted on his knuckles like full everything f- about that guy i even had the hyper flights rolled my ankles four <laughs> times the, in sorry, dude. they're like sandals <laughs> dude they were terrible <laughs> they're so low on. I, I tried to get my parents <laughs> to buy me some more uh shoes because i kept rolling my ankle and this was like my junior year in high school they're like no these were 120 dollars. Yeah, these were a christmas present bro. <laughs> no you're not getting another <laughs> pair unless they're freaking yeah. the carl malone's from kmart the shacks the white chocolate was definitely a, a must watch again yeah and as is mine you guys already know who mine is some oh, guys, Jesus. the group texts go wild russell westbrook no oh, that's not God. your all-time that's my all-time favorite player it's tell me there's another player better to watch like Jason oh, Williams, Williams. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, gr- I mean, growing up, there was other guys, but no, he's all he he passed it. I don't if know. he's on TV, I'm watching his all his energy. He never gets deterred. Like he is a blur up and down the court. Like I'll watch him. No, he's fun to watch. I, need, I, I can't watch believe that's time. your favorite. That's my Richard. favorite point guard. I need Richard. Damian Lillard sn- sneaking up because I love watching him play. Just his range. I feel like you could have think think of something no. else. No, I need, I need Richard to Russ, feel dude. daily double. So he's, he's, my right now. <laughs> he's my only current player. <laughs> Remember we were going off in the text. Oh, yeah. I used to hate on mine. Wearing just his Oh, he's jersey. on my hate list. Trust me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Get me out of here. You go hit the Jeopardy so number, dude. Wears just his jersey w. and nothing else. Uh, yeah, huh. whatever, dude. No socks. Us bro, baby. <laughs> no socks. All right, who's your shooting guard? This one, we'll go in reverse order. I already know. I think me and Pete are unanimous here, but it's Kobe Bryant. Kobe my, Bryant. You guys are Hands Kobe. Yeah. You, I wasn't yeah. a Laker fan. I, my favorite yeah. shooting guard to watch was Dwayne Wade. Okay. He was yeah. like a, he was Fair literally enough. a highlight reel all the time. Flash. I remember. You remember he wore the Flash band aid. You remember he wore yeah. the band aid for a long time, and then he wore the Flash one, and they made band it. Wore a band aid. Right. You don't remember that? I don't remember yeah. this. You don't remember he had the band aid under his eye? Yep. He wasn't even hurt. Yeah. He wore it all the time, and he the one time he wore the I Flash one. Yep. The NBA yanked it, so you can't wear any. You can't wear anything <laughs> like that. You there was a little, there was a little the, bit of a rivalry yeah. between Kobe and, and D. They were the two best shooting yeah. guards in basketball exactly. at the time. How do I not remember? I, that makes me angry. Yeah. That you wear a band aid under your eye. Yeah. He did. You he don't did remember the He did the like, old This Nelly. is back when Nelly was yeah. hyping it up, dude. He was right. like uh, trending back then, dude. Uh, that makes you would have hated it. Yeah, no, I don't like band aids. You would have been on your least favorite. He hates the guy I have is not. You hate accessories or what? I don't like band aids. Oh. I wore accessories. I wore the wristbands, like seven of them. Yeah, you and Lamar. The yeah, no, that cost at least ten thousand BC. Yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. Or VC. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My guys. <laughs> my guy had yeah the wristband, the armband, the the bicep band, the leg yeah. band. So banded socks. out, dude. <laughs> Just bandaged up. I think he misinterpreted when they say get the bands. All right, so Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> So Dwayne Wade for you, Kobe obviously the work ethic, just the alt, the Jordan after Jordan, right? Just absolute killer on the court and all that. RIP. Yeah, you Kobe. already know he's my all time favorite player and uh, yeah. arguably the goat. I mean, yeah. you know, we already had this conversation. It's one, two, three. All right, so. who who you got? Small forward, Bob. Larry Legend, baby. You were did you watch him? Well, I mean, I've seen <laughs> the highlights. Highlights. That's all you need to see. That's all I need to see. To see the Larry, dude, the stories of Larry Legend showing up, playing a back to back in the first night. He's like, I'm going to save my right hand for tomorrow night. I'm going to play tonight left handed. Yeah. Drops yeah, 42. Yeah. Against the Blazers, right? Yeah. yeah that's pretty good. Scored oh, 42 only contest? using his left hand. The three point contest. Oh, lights out. He comes in and says, Who's He goes in the who's locker room and second? said, Hey, which one of you guys showed up for second place tonight? I try to get Pat turned on to some Larry Bird. Oh, dude, I Larry hit that, that, that same like three point contest. Worse. He didn't even shoot a warm up shot. <laughs> he never came out till the till started. Yeah, I don't know. Absolute legend. I've seen, I've watched him. I can't get on board. What? I don't even have him like top ten. The fake, yeah, but behind crazy. the back pass. Yeah, I don't know. Turn I mean, around, the like, jumper. Yeah, this, you're disrespecting the game. The old school just never. <laughs> most of the old school guys don't do it for me as far as like talent goes. Talent? Have you seen this guy shoot the basketball? He's got ta- obviously he's got talent. I just think like if he played the, I Luka Doncic. No. Is, oh, no. no, no, he can't no. Shoot. He's no, no, torching no, no, no. Luca. Well, I mean, people are going to shred me. I don't know. I just don't see the Larry Bird. The Larry, obviously, he has some highlight. He had some crazy I get highlights. The diff- I get the I difference don't. in athletes being bigger, stronger, so faster. So, do you put now. Magic Johnson in your top 10? No. Okay. No, no neither no. one of them. Right. I enough. get the difference of bigger, faster, stronger athletes yeah. nowadays. Like, if you go back and watch Kareem Abdul Jabbar's yeah, dunk contest. Yeah, put Larry yeah. Bird on that weight plan. He's doing the Yeah, same, no, so. for sure. If he had today, he could be a lot better. But yeah, I mean, they didn't the guys. But anyway, whatever. Did you, guys, did you guys happen? Fine, to, did you guys happen Larry, to, no, to like, check I the like highlights yeah. of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's dunk contest? No, 
Wait, they cream? had a dunk contest? Yes, and he did it. <laughs> what? And what, it did was, he just stand there? Oh, it was horrendous. Shannon Brown had a better performance. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, Shannon Brown. Birdman <laughs> Anderson could out duck Kareem Abdul-Jabbar any day of the week. It was. I want you guys to go watch this on YouTube. That's why you had this guy hooked. Oh, it was brutal, bro. His best dunk could was, he do his a best dunk was from the baseline reverse. Oh, that's well, sick. It was that's absolutely sick. brutal. That's sick. It's sick, yeah. <laughs> Lee right. Griffin sneezes one of those. Out. <clears throat> my uh, Lance Stevenson, the guitar playing, the, oh blo- the blowing Lord, in LeBron's bro. ear, the, just that whole feud. How I know that all work out for him. <laughs> yeah, I know it, it didn't work out great. Paul, he was Pete Pants, Larry, or uh, Paul Pierce, or right. Paul Pierce. I yeah. Lo- yeah, yeah. I love his antics on the court. I just love he's. Did grimy. he untie, who's a, who shoe did he untie at the free throw line? I don't remember that. You remember that at the free throw uh, line? He untied somebody's shoe. The no, meat, he's the, just crazy. After I he blew, him. after he blew, and now he's bronze. balling in China. He is. He's like pull, trying to be the Stefan Marbury of this generation. Right, remember, but, he got a statue outside. And now he's just in China lighting people up. Exactly. Was he on the Lakers last year? Last mm, year, Lance Stevenson, no, like no. three years ago, it was three or four. First year yeah. with LeBron. No, I don't think they. I don't LeBron. think they were. Uh, he was no. on the same team as LeBron at some point. Cavs, maybe. I don't know if he ever played there. No, I don't, I don't think they were on the same. No, team. No, that fall blew in his ear. No, he was on the same team as the Pacers. No, you might have to look that up. But no, I don't know. Come on. Every time you touch the ball, you're just waiting. He's just crossing people up, going crazy, yeah. hitting step backs. He's one of my favorite players. The meme that was generated from him blowing in LeBron's ear oh my God. Yeah, was a top top sports meme of all time. And like if you're playing a five on five pickup game at the park you and want you see team, Lance yeah. Stevenson, yeah, last just the year, way 18, he looks, 19. he looks like he can come out and just pour fifty on you. You want him on your team hundred percent. Yeah. He's, he's just going to harass. He's like Pat Beverly. I like Steven yeah, no, way more. I that, can't stand Beverly. I don't know. He just is. But there's the same but type of same type of grimy looking. Yeah. Just, yeah. No, I grimy don't. looking. Yeah. He just said, <laughs> Pat grimy. Beverly, you're grimy. <laughs> Both those fools are just grimy looking. Oh, man. Lance. All right. my my. Uh, so I went another shooting guard, and I'm just going to play them both. But Reggie Miller. I know you wow. hate. Re- I know Bob does not like Reggie Miller. No, dude, he's a jerk. But he—that's what you. <laughs> that's because you called him Cheryl Miller at yeah, the I, Pac-12 I, at tournament. First of all, I will defend myself and say I tried to get his attention many times before with his real name, and he ignored us. So he the was, fact he was called calling him, a game. He's not that busy, he was yelling, bro. He's yelling at Reggie Miller at the Pac-12 tournament while Reggie Miller's announcing the game. Yeah, and he's not. Not even a half we're, time, in, we're in the fr- we're in the front row. <laughs> we're in the break, front row, dude. and he's like, "That's why Cheryl Miller." Dropped Just 100, call dude. Him Cheryl. That's why you're the, the best the player in your family, dude. No, but the <clears> moments <throat> he created on the court, I remember that's... The choke you know, sign. The choke the sign to Spike Lee, eight points five, in nine yeah, seconds. Yeah. yeah. Or nine point, whatever it was. And he just is a clutch shooter. That dude was J.J. Redick before J.J. Redick. He's one of the best shooters of all time, and I loved watching He's like him poor, He was like a poor man's lawyer. He's not poor. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Get out of here, dude. Oh, oh, man. All right, but yeah, Reggie, that's... Did, you know, the one thing I hated about Reggie Miller was his teeth. Like how you do you just have caught million? up on these looks? Beverly's grimy and Stevenson's no, grimy. No, listen, now Reggie's listen, grill. you got millions of dollars, millions of dollars. Yeah. Fix your teeth. Strahan, come hey, on. Anthony I'm Davis did. At it, least dude. LeBron did something about his hair. Anthony Davis did. It. You remember that fool's teeth in high school coming out? I was like, I'll pay for his braces right now. Just give me back later. I don't know. All right, power forward. <laughs> power forward. Oh, let me on my list. You gone? All right. P- yeah. you got oh, Tim Duncan, most overrated player of all time. Like? Like? Oh. A runner like oh, this, I thought, dude. Uh, I was just fired He's up getting ahead. This oh, fool went on. Oh, he's so <laughs> ready to fucking go off on I saw my Tim notes. Duncan, dude. Yeah. So, no, Kevin Garnett. KG. The big ticket. Yeah. I saw him. I looked at my notes because yeah, okay. they're like it's okay. super close. We'll no, get there because we got we yeah. might have a lot in common. Mine's, right. mine's yeah. LeBron KG. James. KG. Big oh, ticket. power forward. You're putting the power forward? LeBron James at power forward. All right. Go ahead with KG. KG. Big ticket. Minnesota Timberwolves. Come on. Turn them around. The trash talking. I hated. Really, I hated him with the Celtics. Did he really turn him around? He got him to the playoffs. Got him to the playoffs a few times. Chris Paul no, takes every got, team he's ever played oh. on to the playoffs. So I don't want to hear that. No, KG did. Like he got up he, to the conference final, I believe, one year. No, didn't Kevin Love he do was, the same thing? So he was just entertaining. I'm not saying that. The trash no, he, talk. The yeah, trash talk. The trash talk. The, the heart. His personality. The, the I get, chest. Like I get the, the whole, personality. The whole game that Kevin Garnett brought to the NBA. I his don't know. Intensity? I just loved it. Yeah, his intensity. intensity. I don't Leader, know. KG, KG was my yeah. favorite power forward of all time. No, I don't. I'm not mad at that. LeBron? LeBron. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I knew There's that. There's no explanation needed. Come on, okay. I can't believe I didn't think of that when you when we said small four because you didn't mention him, but he can be any position except, well, even center, but. Probably be the best center in basketball. <laughs> Um, so yeah, LeBron. Obviously, I knew that was going to be there. Just I think like he's playing, he's he's playing center like right now in the Lakers. Just like you knew Kobe would be 
Yeah. And then we'll just hit uh, center. I mean, I think we, me and Pete probably have the same one again. I Are got Shaq. Saying? We all do? No. So no. I, what? I, so I, surprise. First surprise. <clears throat> I got, no, I got so Shaq. The dumb. big Shaq this, dude? No. So I disliked Shaq for a little bit because he had one more oh, ring than yeah. Kobe. Right. Oh. So, the, feud, the Kobe feud. So the feud. I, loved, I loved Shaq when he played on L.A., but once he got that other ring we with Dwayne Wade, I was like, oh, man, he got I really don't like him anymore. Yeah. It, helped, it so helped his brand, though. because My the, like for him kind of went it helped out the his window. Brand. It helped Shaq's brand with his beef with Kobe because he went and got another one. Right. It helped him. Oh, yeah. It, it helped did. his brand. He was gonna yeah. be, he's big regardless. Yeah, so but I'm both. saying like the feud of who was on whose coattails and who the best player right. on the team was, yeah. and he goes to Miami and instantly wins another title. Right. It just yeah. helps him out. I just had it's to like have, it's like the Tom Brady going to the Bucks and winning. Everybody's like, it wasn't Bill, it's Tom. The Kobe right. Shaq connection was why although I Kobe still remember when still I still peeled a off Laker another fan, two. So when Kobe threw the lob to Shaq. That was instant. Oh, at the from the that was, he threw it from, yeah. from that line. moment. I was Kobe Dunked Shaq fan. So Shaq's got that duo I think he's was the best unstoppable. Of all time. That duo was unstoppable. They, they might be the best duo in history, close to up they their are. top three. Yeah, they're up there. They're top one. three. They're number no one. one's beating them in a. Yeah, no I don't one's think so. Them. It was your magic and Kareem. Mine was. Uh, no. I went with Pau Gasol. Okay, at least I, you didn't say Mark. Uh, no, I went. <laughs> I went with Gasol just because that was Kobe's boy. Loyalty, everything. You know me. I'm a big Kobe fan, so. I did not know how close they were till after Kobe passed away. Yeah, to see all the he, how close to actually find out how close he was with Kobe's family, right, is wild. I didn't know that before. And then after like being called soft in the first uh, championship game against the Celtics, and then the next time they played the Celtics, like he manned up, played good. He, he played, played good. freaking. Well, great he's never actually team. like a big body busted down on the paint no. center. No. So I mean, yeah, he's a pretty soft hero. But I mean, I loved watching him and Kobe guy. play. Shoot out, shoot lights out from fifteen foot. I uh, actually probably enjoyed the Pau Gasol Kobe connection a little more than the Shaq connection, just because you never knew what you were going to get. Shaq was just so dominant. You knew what you were going to get night dominant, in, night out yeah. with Shaq. Shaq was just dominant. There was no. So stopping to him. me, watching Gasol perform was a little more. That's why I put you know with the yeah. feud, I put Pau Gasol. Okay. Fair enough. All right, let's get into some college basketball. We got the NBA guys out of the way. This one we didn't. I, I told you guys we don't have to do positions because it's there's so many it's five guys college like. players and yeah. So we're going with the likes. Who is your favorite? Who is one of your fa- top favorite guy? Greg one, Paulus, baby. Oh my yes, <laughs> he was one this of the most dude, hated dude. Probably one of the greatest Greg athletes Paulus. of our generation, my man. Probably one of the greatest athletes. I don't know here. what to <laughs> say on like. Come on, man, Mr. Gatorade Player of the Year in his basketball and football in high school decides well, to go to Duke on a full ride, play four years, stunt on North Carolina for four years, take Did a you graduate say stunt on yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, absolutely, oh, stunt <laughs> a career high of thirty against Greg him. Freaking then Paulus. he decides to take a fifth year transfer and go to grad school and start at quarterback for Syracuse. This guy's a living legend, bro. All five of I, yours are Duke players. I think the <laughs> no, I think no, the no, reason no. I it could have been though. I think, I think the, three are. I'm sure you could have. I think the reason you hate him is because I, I love him so much. You just right. you just call it, He just said he stunned it at Duke. Like the guy stunned it on North Carolina, but man, those two matchups every year he brought the A game. Wait, wasn't there a chant for Greg Paulus? But in, the in Duke, the, yeah, the Duke one. It was like, uh, man, I can't remember. What there it was. was. I don't remember what it was. All right, so Greg Paulus. Who do you got? Cameron. Who's man. another guy for you? Oh, Pete. Doug McDermott. Oh, I Doug like, yeah. from Creighton, like just a shooter. You know, I still pull for him in the NBA right now. You do. I was like texting the, you a couple weeks ago about him. He had like thirty at halftime. Dougie Fresh, baby. No, I love Doug McDermott. And I think he he went pretty deep with that Creighton team too. They definitely made a sixteen or eight. I don't think they. I went think to it was the sixteen. Four. But still, no, Doug McDermott. They I, got, think he, I think they got. He the was leading eight. the uh, NCAA in points. I think one year or senior year. I think I he led the. I think he led all. Oh, he was fun to play. watch, just like yeah. a lot of the shooters, yeah. um, like Jimmer, like Jimmer. I'm sure one of you has. Jimmer. I got Jimmer. All right, uh, Jimmer. I'm that's going. Nice K- obviously, Kemba Walker. That's your boy. Yeah, that's my boy. I fun. almost so he was my favorite point guard, and I went. I, I could have put him for both for NBA because I still love Kemba. Still, right. even though he's kind of fallen off a little bit this year, I hope. Dude, he he's back still together. he stepped his game up so much from. UConn to the NBA he but, got so but much better at UConn the the iconic run he had with eleven the, straight elimination games yeah because they had to win the Big East in tournament eleven straight elimination games they had like seven game winners yeah he had to he had to they had to win Nasty. they had to win the Big the East tournament back. just to get in they were going and then to run. he had a couple game winners dropped thirty twenty eight you remember the Big East championship game against yeah. Pitt yeah the game winner he makes Stephen McGee fall down yeah it's not good oh my lord bro. And then, iconic and then it all started I'll go, I'll go ahead. 
um, to my next guy is Eric Devendorf. That's why I, I, Dieven- I, I knew he was going to be on my door. Oh, it. dude, I got Devendorf on mine based on one game and one game only. The you know, six, the six overtime, overtime thriller. Yeah. We watched that game in, in I think four different four locations. Six different locations. It was a six. It was one twenty-seven, one seventeen win. Devendorf jumped on a table. He thought he hit a game winner in like the fourth had, OT. In the yeah third or fourth <laughs> OT, jumped on the table. They, they right. waved it off. Uh-oh. Let's go to five. And they went that, to six. That game was stacked oh, with talent. That God, was, it was yeah. wild. That had Johnny, Johnny Flynn, Flynn, Eric Devendorf's on there. Andy Routens. Oh, Routens. But Routens, Devendorf. Routens was, Routens was in the NBA. He was on the Knicks for like three or four years. He played a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Devendorf. Um, yeah. So those two. Then the, but Kemba was in that game. Yeah. Uh, that was his freshman year. But yeah, Kemba and Devendorf were two of my favorites. That for game sure. was wild. Because that was back. That was pretty far back. That was like 2006. Yeah, 2000, that was like 12 years ago, probably. 2011. That was a while ago. Dang. 11 years ago. Yeah, old yeah, nine boys. years ago. Nine years ago. So those are my two. Who you have Devendorf too? I have Devendorf okay. on who's mine a, too. Who's your second, Pete? <clears throat> you guys might hate this, but I was a big Adam Morrison guy. Oh god, you know he's I mean, so and, grind- <laughs> you talk about grindy. <laughs> you no, talk about like grindy? Tarzan. Look like he crawled out listen, of a dumpster listen, and dropped thirty. Listen, listen for one second. He was the next greatest thing since Larry Bird. Like that's how big. How that's how much hype was around. Adam oh, I Morrison. remember the hype. The hype was the real. hype was there. And it's not like he was a bum in the NBA. If he'd have washed he, his hair, it would have worked out. I think yeah, he probably. <laughs> but here, <laughs> didn't live in the jungle. The was freaking torching <laughs> was like Tarzan, everyone. Bro. And then I, of course, it we was couldn't hard. miss in college. It was wild. No, it was money. I think he tore his knee in the freaking NBA. That's why he really didn't pan out. But well, he was like the number two pick in the draft or something, or one, two, yeah, two or three. Two? Yeah, two Bobcats, or Bobcats, Bobcats, Michael Jordan, MJ. MJ, I thought that was a great pick. Just didn't pan out. It just happens. I still remember going to summer league. MJ's been like been, MJ does not pick well. What's a summer league? Like so, 10 I guess years, this year he did all right. Like ten years after he got drafted, and he was still in the he won co MVP. He was trying to make no. He was, dropped forty. He at, won co MVP of summer league. When we were there ten years later. He won. He dropped forty in a game, and I was like, "What is going on right now?" Somebody in the NBA just needed to hand the keys to the ignition and let him run. Let, He's let not the, leading. Let the, no, no. Way. Let the, what do you mean? He averaged like fourteen a game his first his rookie year. Yeah, I don't know what happened. He ha- he tore his knee his second year. He just fell. He, he just couldn't get back from there. No, that was it. Some people can't get back. I don't that was know. it. I don't know. Adam Morrison. All right, who you got for your third? Any chewed tobacco too? J- Jimmer so. Fredette, my man. It's a play. Jimmer, Absolute yeah, Jimmer. Mar- because of March Madness. See, we go every year. Yeah. It's a big deal for us. <clears throat> Jimmer's my number and one. Jimmer was like the definition yeah, of March Madness for like three years. Absolutely, two years. This fool could not miss his range. One of my friends told me this one day. He said Jimmer's range is. Is in the gym. In the gym. When that fool steps in the gym, you right. got to guard him. That's yeah. when you start guarding him. Now he's <laughs> really the goat in China. He is dropping 40, 50. He dropped 70. 70. He, he just could 70. He couldn't bro. defend the, the six, five guys in the NBA. So he had to go to China and defend the five, six guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. I That's know. He was. Well, you know, if he was drafted now, he'd be perfect for Do the you remember NBA. the stories? You know, about him? To, he'd be better than Trey Young or as good. Do you remember him yeah. coming up at BYU? Same. He was like, him and his brother were like going to prisons and playing basketball. To like put on those. shows, you didn't hear about all those. Mm-mm. And when he was like gaining hype at BYU, he would go and like play at prisons for all the prisoners and play against them to like against them? get like they are all pumped. He Just was coming, rough. yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Jimmer oh, was Jimmer def- was exciting. Yeah, yeah, that's my number one. He's a top top he's on my five list. ten guy for sure for pretty much everybody that watches. College oh, college, he's dude, you can't talk about college basketball. Top, I knew he was going to come up. I'm I'm going a little crazy here. Well, not crazy, but D- Darius Johnson owed him. That was one of my guys. That Darius was one of, Johnson. He was DJ Hill Marquette. was on Marquette, Marquette dude, yeah. with that Jay my, Crowder. He was on there with Jay Crowder. Yeah. He played with uh, Vander Blue, which and is Jay another Crowder. guy. Those three yeah. were on the Marquette run. And I love yeah. Buzz Williams as a coach. Those yeah. were my that was my team back in the day. And Darius like Johnson owed him. We met all those we'll guys. Remember that. at Summer League? We met all we met DJ O and Jay Crowder at Summer League. That was a fun time. Oh, I didn't even I didn't give him my last uh power forward. Lamar Odom. Lamar, okay. I, I didn't even skip that. Lamar Odom was yeah. on my love That's list. where you got your bands from. That guy wore every band you could wear. Lamar Odom was a legend. <laughs> that was a legend. I Phil had Jackson had, had, to, Phil Jackson had to tell him to get rid of the accessories. NBA. Yeah, Lamar Odom. I, that was the last jersey I think I bought, actually. Oh, no, I bought a college basketball, but Lamar Odom was... You bought a Marquette jersey? Yeah. No, I bought a... I won a Marquette jersey. Oh, you won that one? I bought a uh, Auburn jersey because I thought they were going to win the title. But anyway, let's go back. Lamar Odom. Well, I, I have to give Lamar Odom a, right. a shout out. That was my boy. He was. You guys all hated it too. Sixth man of the year. It's almost like the Daniel Tice love right now because I like Daniel Tice. I don't. I didn't really hate it. I just didn't. Lamar see Odom it. was my boy, dude. And he th- he could do everything. St- Play D. He's long. He, he would make you shoot. mad. He'd make you mad though. But back to college. D- Darius Johnson Odom. Yeah. Uh, he was. He recently was the MVP of the TBT. 
Marquette, the Marquette alumni won the TBT. That's a million dollar tournament. Yeah, he was the MVP of the tournament. So he's play, he, all so these he's still guys, balling. Most of these guys are playing overseas, but he was the All Big East 2012. He played with Blue and Crowder, like we mentioned. That was yeah. my guy. That I loved that team. Was nasty. That team was good. That Marquette team. They had, Jimmy, Blue was nasty. they had Jimmy Butler a year or two before that too, and Dwayne Wade went there. Yeah, your boy, Dwayne Wade. So all right, my he's next in, one is yep. Zion Williamson. Yeah, you have to have him. Oh, he's my fan. guy, dude. Absolute show at Duke. DJ Burns. Uh, that's DJ Burns' dad, by the way. Winthrop. Zion? Yeah, Winthrop. He plays for Winthrop this year. I'm DJ pretty Burns. sure Zion Williams' dad is Lawrence Taylor from the NFL. They look exactly <laughs> alike. So <laughs> that's a good. I'm Lawrence almost, Taylor. If if Zion doesn't know who his father is, let's get he a knows DNA now. test. Let's go ahead and get a DNA test because that, <laughs> that if they are ex- they look identical. His dunk. That's a pretty good comparison. I'm not kidding. That's the first bro. time I've ever heard that. They look identical. Just have them throw an earring in. They're built exactly the same too. Yeah, Zion <laughs> was an animal. I saw. I was watching the highlights uh, two nights ago of the UCF and Duke game. Oh, dude! Do you remember that? Yeah. We're at. We're in Vegas. Of course, when he was the first. Him and Taco Fall. And, uh, uh, Taco. The they were down one. And I he, remember that we were at, we were at uh, we were at uh, Tilted Killer. You, in could, Las Vegas. you couldn't watch it. He said, "I have to go to the bathroom," and he didn't I come back until the game was over because he couldn't watch it. it. I and, could uh, not watch to, if we lost to Taco <laughs> Fall. I was waiting for Zion to dunk on him and just break him in half. Never happened. I oh, did ball on him though. Yeah, they, they squeaked out the one point win. Yeah. Zion, Zion missed a free the, throw. Yeah, and then what? Uh, got the, the. He didn't get the rebound. It was another, the R.J. Barrett got the yeah. rebound and dunked it. Yeah. Go up one. Anyway, all right. Who you got? Who's your? Who's oh, number four? Marshall Henderson. I knew. It. So, Do on. you remember this kid? This kid was an on, animal. Man. He was such a loud on, mouth, man. trash talking animal. From I forgot about Marshall Did Henderson. Bro. No, he wow. was wow. That I forgot about him. He was yeah. a, he was a G. Yeah, but he yeah, he got kicked off every got team trouble. he's ever yeah. been on. So he was like, yeah. How many calls did he play at three? <laughs> he was uh, fun to watch. That's for yeah. sure. If he ever got to oh, play games, dude, if he hit one on you, you were toast the right. whole game. He was coming right. at you and, right. ta- and trashing you. I forgot about. He Marshall was one Anderson. of the guys that thought he had in the gym range. He would just pull up from wherever. He still scored forty a game. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he did when he got hot. He was oh, when he got hot. Lord. It was that's so when loud. his trash talk went to absolute nuclear level five. Mason, <laughs> nuclear level five, <laughs> dude. All right. Oh. I got uh, Marcus Smart. Your he last one? No, I got two more. I got Marcus Smart at, when he played at Oklahoma State. This dude was basically the same player he is now. Just D'd up, just, yeah. hard, hard nose. Three and D. He almost beat up a fan one time, which got him in a little bit of trouble. Well, the he Texas like Tech a, fan called him some, yeah, some it, racial it was, slurs, and they – that guy got banned for but life. He, he went in the crowd. I was like, I would have oh, beat him up too. But yeah, so he was. Yeah, he played. That guy got banned for life. He was 13, a Texas 14. Tech fan, I think, or something. That was a Texas Tech game. He's the same player as today, but he was in college. Just, just an animal. Grind did you ever win money off of him? I'm sure I did. I'm I sure bet, we I bet, bet on Oklahoma Marcus. State all the time. I, I bet on them a lot. Who else was on that Oklahoma State team? Uh, Marcus Smart. There was somebody else who was really good there too. There's a couple guys. They're not I anything crazy, but yeah, I loved watching him. And then I'll go to my last guy, DeAndre Kane. Do you remember this guy? Yes. No. Iowa State. He played Iowa State. He's a big dude. Played DeAndre. Sick. No, he was the point guard. He was a guard. He's a six five. You're thinking? I don't know. Who am I thinking? DeAndre of? Burton. Maybe that's. What he was kind of Julius Randle. He was on the yeah. same team, but this guy was so he he transferred from Marshall. He played three years of Marshall or graduate. He's a graduate transfer. Okay. He plays overseas now. He he's balling. He plays on the overseas elite team at TBT. Most of the guys I have oh, play well, at the TBT. Even Dorf played. Good. Uh, DeAndre Kane won. Like they won. Four Did you get to row. interview this guy? No, not Kane. Damn. It was uh, Elmore. Damn. John Elmore. Oh, that's right. I remember he was that. Fun. Yeah, that was a fun guy. Him. But yeah, DeAndre Kane. He's similar to Marcus Smart in a way. But I just let, I don't know what it was. If you have a chance, go back and watch his highlights. He was an animal. He was good at Oklahoma State. He was, he was well. Good. My last one, dude. This will fire. This will fire our boy over here up. My oh, last no. one is <laughs> is Corey Lucius. Ooh. This guy gave <laughs> us so many memories of March Madness. And I, there, I'm not so even, many. I don't get. Well, what he getting. played what? like he played like nine college basketball seasons. It seemed like Perry Ellis. Where's Perry Ellis at? He's probably he's probably transferring back to Kansas right now. But okay, back to Lucius. This guy played how many seasons? He played like six college basketball seasons. He did play a lot. He was on like five teams. He was on Michigan State. And then he transferred to like what? Where did he go after? I that? have no idea what you're talking about right now. He played on like three different teams. I just remember, <laughs> I only have one memory from Corey Lucius. Oh yeah, that was against Maryland. Mm-hmm. 
when, you know, when in the diehard Maryland guy. Maryland had I was in the room Grievous with Vasquez them. gave Maryland fans the, <laughs> the greatest hope of all time with the game <laughs> winner. Right. Only for Corey Lucius to say nah play. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wild right, Pete, who's your last guy? Steph Curry. Yeah, you have all you have all shooters. Right? Shooters, all shooters. shooters. I love sh- I love shooters. No dunkers. No. What was it? Okay, so go finish this. Then we'll no, go with teams. Steph Curry, Elite Eight. Come yeah, on. no, I was wild. Davidson. Just oh yeah, sophomore year, something like that. Yeah. Come on, you, I mean, you can't, and he's still doing it now. Oh, the best shooter ever. Yeah. Crazy. His what was, no, good there's too. nothing more like you there's can no, say. Yeah, his brother's pretty Steph good. Steph Curry. Just he's, he's, he's giving Seth the shout out because he went to Duke. <laughs> right? Duke. And he's absolutely a light out in the NBA. Oh, I so. lo- yeah, no, he's he's good. But all right, what was your favorite? Now I just thought of this question, but what was your favorite team from like March Madness or if you could or a favorite win? A game. Maybe you bet on it. Oh, I don't know. The favorite game we bet on. Oh, like I got one. I got one. Like it's just like probably five years ago. It's Xavier Georgetown. And we were we bet Xavier minus, I think it was two and a half, and Georgetown down was down was down one had the ball, came down shot it with like four seconds left or eight, six seconds left and missed and Xavier got the rebound and they decided not to foul and the guy went the full court for Xavier and laid it up to cover to cover it. Yeah, they didn't foul. They chose not to foul. And this guy decided to go link to the fourth thing and they were gonna foul and right. just gave him the layup to cover. And we were in a we were in, I think it was Aria at this bar, and the guys next to us, they were all Georgetown fans. And they were absolutely honest the whole game. And I just we were absolutely drinking the whole day. I turned to the guy after right at the end and I was like, Hey buddy, go ahead and turn that Georgetown ticket into confetti, my man. <laughs> they <laughs> lost their mind. I got up. I said, I'm going to go cash this Xavier ticket. Yeah, I was I was thinking, uh, I, I thought you were going to say the Lucius one since you were loving that oh, one. Oh, that was but a wild one. Florida too, Gulf Coast. Dunk oh, City. Yeah, Dunk City. Run. Against Short, I think it was against but Georgetown. Against run. Georgetown. They did plus, beat Georgetown, yeah. Plus 600 or something. Yeah, yeah. just that run, though. Was they yeah, they, what, they, get to the, they got to the Elite Eight, right? Yeah. They lost a, yeah. I think they, they lost the game to get to the yeah. But, all right, that's enough. Call. We'll save the college memories for next week. Next week, like I said, March Madness bracket. All right, let's get to the NFL real quick, and then we'll get to baseball, and then we'll 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 dive into the the least favorite players. NFL. Go ahead and rattle off your just. Well, let's go through every them. Eagles. I mean, play. Knock them out. Knock them out. Eagles just knock no, them no, out. I only got. I only got. Or you can go slow. We can talk about them. But Randall knock out your Cunningham. Guys. I got three Eagles players. That's only I got. I got my favorite quarterback is Mike Vick. You want uh, Vick? Vick, absolute dude, unstoppable. That was your boy. I still Unstoppable. remember when he dropped seventy exactly. fantasy points. Do you remember I was down? I was yeah. down fifty. Nasty. I was down fifty. I had Jeremy Macklin and Deshaun and, Jackson, and, and right, I had Mike Michael Vick. Vick. And the guy I was playing to had Deshaun Jackson on the very first play of the game. He hit a eighty yard touchdown. eighty yard touchdown to Deshaun Jackson to put me down like fifty four. Yeah, he loses. Points I lose on points because he threw. Deshaun. <laughs> and then the rest of the game was Mike Vick thirty yard runs and forty yard touchdown passes to Jeremy He's, Macklin. He threw, yeah. No, he was probably the most fun. Oh, to watch. it was the wildest. I was playing our buddy Shane I Scott. Still remember he that. was so yeah. upset. All right, who's your running running back? Uh, Brian Westbrook from the Eagles. Probably my favorite running back. Absolutely, he was an absolute beast. He was an yeah, you absolute do it all. Pro Bowler. Every, he was the do it all back before you know, Marshall Falk. Catch and all the these ball, guys run came. the ball. Right. He set the all. precedent for future running backs. Yeah. Almost right. Pass catching backs. He was one of the first. And then, uh, so my wide receiver is Ojo Cinco. This guy, oh, yeah. I is mean, a he was legend. one of my favorites. He's a legend, dude. He's yeah. everybody, one of everybody's favorites. No, yeah. you can't hate the guy. No, nobody can hate him. No. Said, send me the fines. He said, <laughs> dude, his props on the field were wild. He was out there with a future Hall of Fame jackets on. You know what I mean? He's wasn't out he pulling. one of the first ones to like change up the cleats and stuff? Like he was doing all probably. That yeah, 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 he was like doing that. a lot of. And like, then, dude, dude, he remember, did all the the legit shit that everybody he just did wanted wild to do. stuff. Right. Dude, his like Carson Palmer said one time, like it was like uh, Saturday night. Two o'clock in the morning, he's sleeping, and Ocho Cinco called him, and he answers the phone. He's like, "Hello," and Ocho Cinco's like, "Just so you know, if I'm in a phone booth with two defenders, I'm still wide open," <laughs> and hung up on him. But he's like, "He woke me up at two o'clock in the morning before so then the go. game, the Sunday, just to tell him like, even if I'm in a phone booth with two defenders, I'm still wide open." Toss it. Who was the guy that didn't someone just do that where they call their coach and say, "I'm open"? I don't hang remember. Up? All right, I don't know. Ocho Cinco, though, legend. Ocho, and my favorite. Changed his name. I mean, he changed his name to Ocho Cinco. Right, and yeah. they changed the jersey <laughs> for him. Everything it was yeah. well. 
Uh, my tight end's Gronkowski, obviously. Absolute just yeah, party animal. I like that. I think I feel like when it comes to fans, they he's one of the players that people can relate to the closest because he's the party animal. Right. Let's on. have fun. Let's go out. Yeah. Football's like the last fun. thing on his priority list, and he's great at it. Um, D lineman, my favorite, Fletcher Cox. He's Eagles, just a run Eagles, stopping yeah. monster. He's a monster. My secondary player is Taylor Mays. You guys remember uh, this? Oh, you remember? Yeah. I Taylor love Mays. Taylor. This fool's the hardest hitting safety I've ever seen in football. That fool is fun to watch. This fool is killing his own teammates and yeah. opposing players on the same play. Do you remember that play yeah. you see against what Penn College? State? You go to USC, USC right? He went to yeah. USC, dude. He had a player from Penn State dude, and his own so teammate and took them both out the game. <laughs> he was on the Bengals for Taylor a while. Mays. That fool was a that's a good one. Monster, That's a throwback, dog. dude. I remember. I remember what we were talking about. If you his, go over the middle, like if, he would I, kill I remember you. watching USC games and please, like, just they're playing. Who cares? BYU. Please throw it over the middle. Just so you can see right. like where he's Taylor going. Mays, to, yeah. He's going to blow your That's helmet That's a really off. good one. Yeah. He was like, dude, he, Troy Polamalu was pre, like before, like really watching when I was young. Yeah. But growing up, like Troy Taylor Mays was his ne- the next best right. thing. Yeah. As full as an animal. Did you have a linebacker? No. I couldn't think of one. Zach Thomas. <laughs> I, oh, that's a really good one. I love that dude. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a, a tangent right now. <laughs> Zach Thomas has yet to get in the Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah. this fool has better numbers across the board than Brian Urlacher, who got in on his first <clears throat> ballot. Yeah. Why is Zach Thomas not in the Hall of Fame? He's on the Dolphins. I don't care. I know. I get it. His numbers. What the are Bears crazy. do? Lose a Super Bowl? They yeah. Okay. He's got as many rings as Zach Thomas. Put him in already. Yeah, Zach Thomas Absolutely is one of the guys wild. that should be in the Hall of Fame for sure. Dude, never even gets mentioned. All right, Pete. Put him in already. Tom Brady. Quarterback. Okay. Yeah. He's one Self-explanatory. Yeah. yeah. The GOAT. I mean, you. I, I don't want to root for him, but I mean. You have to. Make it hard. It's so fun to watch. It is. If you don't Surgical. root for him, it sucks. Then, yeah, uh, it's just pain, uh, painful. It's just painful. <laughs> it's just right. painful. You know what I mean? It's just painful. And then I had a toss-up. It was either between Barry Sanders or LaDainian Tomlinson. I LT. chose LaDainian yeah, only because, fan. you know, Barry Sanders was a little bit before my time. But, uh, no, LT, he's the reason why I am a Chargers fan. Dude, his his peak of, like, seven straight seasons. Yeah, nasty. And he, he ran for, like, in a seven-year stretch, he ran for, like, 40,000 when he I was there at the yeah, Chiefs like 2, game. Yeah, like, 2,000 a year. Chiefs game when he broke the touchdown record for, like, 42 or something like that. Total touchdowns. Oh, dude. And then uh, wide receiver, I got a Randy Moss. I wasn't gonna. I was. That was my next pick. But Ocho yeah. Cinco's just too wild. No, him and Dante Culpepper for those years and with the Vikings, nasty. He, he was honestly probably the funnest one to watch. And then uh, tight end, another Charger, Antonio Gates. All right, couldn't yeah. go against that. But here's a good one: D lineman Bruce Smith before my era. But dude, what a crucial role he played in with the Little Giants. Oh yeah. <laughs> the little giant. It's a little giant. The movie, the movie. You remember that movie? Oh my god! Where he just squishes the football. Oh yeah, pops oh, that guy's it. a freaking legend. It. Let's go, it. Bruce Frick. Dude, I forgot about that movie. Absolutely, I'm gonna go home and watch that. His biceps are as big as his coffee table. That movie I, was good. I don't even remember that part, so I have to watch it. <laughs> yeah. That movie was so good. Where they get off? All I remember it's is like John Madden, so Tim mad. Brown. Get mad! <laughs> don't be <laughs> talking <laughs> about my mama. That's the yeah. part I remember. That's what you remember. They put the thing through like foaming out the mouth. When they line up, you remember that? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, you, you they put that? the Alka Seltzer yeah, in, yeah, yeah. or whatever. And they're like, and the other O lines like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Dude, like eight yeah. years old. Bruce Smith. All right. Uh, Sean Marion. Sean Marion. From my yeah. linebacker. What's his his dance? Lights Anybody lights that has out. the dance lights, lights, lights out. Lights out. Kind of good. He was so fun to watch. Huh. And then uh, secondary player, I got another Charger. I went Charger. A little Charger, charger bias. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Antonio Cromartie. Oh, God, he was Pick, good, dude. He was nasty. He was good He's on good the field. He was good with the ladies, too. Oh, yeah. He's got <laughs> He's 14 got like, kids, dude. Yeah, with 13, 13 different When they're talking about how many kids you got in rap is songs, it, you is made it. it. Is it for, does he have 14? No, he's got like 11 with but nine it, women. Is Kanye rapped about this. No, but what's wild so is... win the so, Super Bowl, so drive what, off in a One of the lucky ladies got two out of them. Yeah, they got it twins. It wasn't like 11. It was twins. Oh, oh it was twins? It was twins. He's got twin three-year-olds. So... Okay. You know you've made it. He was so it. fun to watch, though. <laughs> you know you've made picks? it when Kanye is rapping about winning the Super Bowl right. and you driving off He's in a sticking Hyundai. your dick in the <laughs> You've made it at that point. All right. All right. I'll go through mine real quick. Quarterback, Brady. Absolutely. Yeah. Goat, whatever. I know I'm a Niner fan. Montana. I mean, my kid's middle name is Brady. So it's surgical. Is that why? Surg- He's surgical, dude. Is that why? He just picks you apart and ruins everybody's lives. Does, did not you mine. give your kid that middle name because of Tom Brady? 
Yeah, but uh, uh, the other kid's Montana. You got Brady and Montana, two middle oh, names. Oh, okay. Montana's number two, Brady's one. Um, wow. He ruined, Fun fact. He, you, I mean, if you don't root for Brady, he ruins your bets. So That's what just, I'm saying. It's, if you yeah. root against them, it's just painful. You don't have a good time. Right. Even Joe Montana said Brady's the GOAT. Once, so, he, once like, he said so, uh, that, there's no more yeah. discussion, dude. That's, that's right. it. So that's right. like Michael Jordan coming out and saying LeBron's is a goat. Uh, so the running, discussion's over. Running back's got to be Adrian Peterson. Dude's a highlight reel um, all day. All, all day. day. All day, it, AP. You know, he had a, a couple a year off because of the whole child, uh, the switch incident. But yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't the cancel culture these blame. days, you but know, it is what it is. People used to. Do you remember he, he's he, all about dude, discipline, my, it, man. Do you, you know what's wild about that fool? He, yeah, remember he tore his ACL and like yeah. literally eight months later started the season and rushed for two thousand yards. And he's yeah. still in the league. He's eight, still eight playing. months solid. Eight months later, he's starting he's, week one and rushing for two thousand yards in an MVP. Right. Wild. No, well, he's still getting. I think last year he had seven or eight touchdowns on the Lions. He had like, like eight hundred yards. Yeah, it's insane. He's right. gonna. He's on the Lions. He had like eight. I almost. Yeah. I want to say nine hundred. Something like that. He's he's an animal. He was always fun to watch. It's like uh, a Ricky Williams wide dude. receiver. This one was easy for me. Terrell Owens. Yeah, yeah your boys too. Give me give me the give me the ball. Give him the ball. When I know that's Keyshawn, do, that's Keyshawn Johnson's yeah. line, but I don't care. Give him the ball. He's. I know Jerry Rice was probably is the best. I don't care what I don't know the Moss. Cool stuff. Get out of here with that, Jerry Rice. But T.O. had the personality that you can get behind and like both those. Either you hate him or you Cinco love him. We're on the both, same team. Right. Yeah, hit, we, on the bank. Oh <laughs> my dude, that's a part. <laughs> they just put him on sixteen primetime <laughs> games. Go ahead and lock it up. And yeah. then the other guy was T.J. Who's Hushman Zada? Hushman Zada. Who's yeah. your mama? They say T.J. Who's your mama? Yeah, but Both, yeah, dude. That, that was a fun team. But yeah, that's oh, a throwback my name, Lord, bro. bro. It's a throwback uh, name. But T.O. That was the three wide receivers, bro. Yeah, T.J. T.O. Hushman Kush. Tio's my second. Tio and Ocho best Cinco. all time. I think he's better than Moss. Tio, yeah, he did it for That's his crazy. numbers. People discount his numbers, and it's insane. Remember, he wasn't going to get in the Hall of Fame. There's no chance he doesn't I'm get like, in the Hall of Fame. No, he's in That's it. You now. can't say he's There's better than no Moss. Moss died with the Raiders for a couple of years. Owens played on the Bengals. The the Bills. The Bills. Like he the no. Niners. He got, he got need, put in some unfortunate scenarios. No he way. played the Randy Niners, the Cowboys, the, the he had the better Bengals, highlight the plays, but Owens had he dude, played somewhere else too. So look, look. But when you put them with the goat, they break records. Randy T- Moss. Yeah, T.O. played. Yeah, T.O. had no, some. Cr- played no, Jeff you're not Gar- break, You're not. But with Jeff Garcia, he. he uh, that, no, I mean, Ocho like, single play like with Jeff Tom Garcia Brady, was a bomb. Didn't work out. He's not. Jeff Garcia was, Tom Brady. He's Get not. Out. All right, <laughs> tight end uh, Vernon Davis. That was your boy. I like Gronk. I almost went Gronk. Dude, he was, was almost. Money. He I almost s- made my least favorite. Vernon? Vernon? Vernon. He, he was, was dude, drunk, there was dude. a there was like a three year span where he would couldn't. No, I he hated could, him because of not, fantasy. Not they drafted touchdown. him six overall. Who? He, Who's they? Okay, well I don't I wanted I, I mean, want to be in that league. I mean they. The Niners? No, who no fantasy. No, fantasy? What, what, you fantasy? Have a fantasy football? No, I'm saying yeah. So no, I would always more, like shy away from Vernon Davis. Yeah, in his last couple years, maybe. No, he never had over a thousand yards receiving. I gotta look into that. No, like, oh, I don't think fact. he did on the Bears because he missed games. All that's the time, a though. fact. All I know is the memory I had. That is a the, the best only memory. reason why I know this is because I looked at his stats. Because when, I do you remember? I know what memory. Do you remember he scored and started crying? I was crying at the same time. <laughs> 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 this fool's got across the goal line, took his helmet off, and he's balling. I was in with the sideline. I'll never forget this. So Stenson was with me. Balling in Harbaugh's arms. We were in the Planet Hollywood Sportsbook <laughs> during this Niners Saints game, and it was the craziest oh, game I've game ever winner. seen in my life. It was a game winner. Jimmy Graham had an 80-yard touchdown. Vernon Davis was going off. Alex Smith was doing naked bootlegs for it 30-yard was, touchdowns. He and, scored and in the no last time with the clock, yeah, right? Yeah, no, the last play of the game, they had to score a touchdown. Now four. <laughs> and Or they might have been down three, but they went for it. And Vernon Davis caught a, a post slant. route. Or a, yeah. It was a po- kind of a – Deeper post it wasn't a slam. Gets in, gets in, starts crying. I was, you know, little, <laughs> I was probably twelve beers in, maybe more. He's crying. I had in my, no, I had, arms, I had my shirt dying. off, swinging oh. it like a helicopter, like float. What's the dude? Oh. North Carolina swinging yeah. like a helicopter. Who's Petey that? Pablo. Petey Pablo. I, I was Petey Pablo in North in, Carolina in Planet Hollywood. Sucks. By the way. I had tears. I was high fiving everybody. <laughs> Me and Vernon had a he moment. He was the emotional Pat right yeah, now. Dude. Oh no, happy tears, bro. I, was a, <laughs> I think he cried harder. Hey, than Hey, Vernon Davis, never over a thousand yards. It I don't, don't matter. I, I think could be. Animal. Just looked it up. I don't care. He never had him. He still had huge plays. His thing was he made huge plays. He played plays when he needed it. <laughs> not in fantasy though. I bet no, all eight hundred yards fantasy. of his season. That's was why I disliked down. him. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm a Niners fan, and VD gave me I get it. VD gave me a lot of <laughs> venereal diseases. Yeah, he Pat's got Pat's <laughs> gave me a lot of Indian. memories. All right, uh, D line Warren Sapp, dude. Oh, he was a oh, monster. Sapp. Warren Sapp was Aaron Donald before Aaron Donald. 
That was a nightmare. I don't like I don't like the fact Warren Sapp and Derek Brooks were on the Buccaneers. Derek Brooks was a monster too. Okay, you want to know why I don't like that fact? Because the Eagles traded up <laughs> in the draft and traded two picks to draft somebody who nobody can name ever because he played two years in the NFL. And the two picks they gave up to get him were Warren Sapp and Derek Brooks. Congrats, Eagles. Breaking my heart again. All right, so Warren Sapp, corner, uh, linebacker Patrick Willis. This dude needs to be in the Hall of Fame. He had an eight-year career cut He's, short. He retired early. Yeah. I read a story today. He just kind of cut off football after he, he, he retired. Was done. No, he cut it. He, he didn't want to have the car to, salesman now. No, he's teaching football now. But oh. when he first retired, he had seven Pro Bowl years in eight years. Dude was an yeah. animal. Yeah. It was unstoppable. I was I was so sad when he retired. When he left, he cut football off completely. So he, he didn't, have the, he he didn't, didn't have want the to come back. To come back. Yeah, he didn't want to watch it. Didn't want to talk about it because he knew. He Chris Borland. He's a guy that could have. He's the a guy. Thing. Yeah, for he's a guy that could have starred in Little Giants. Probably, yeah. Patrick Willis. <laughs> yeah. Chris Borland. I, he, he did the same thing when he retired. Chris Borland played like three years, right? Three or four, or something like that. And, and he retired my, super early. He said he he left football completely. And then this is that. a way. This is a throwback for secondary guys. Uh, Merton Hanks. That's way back. In the Do you day. remember the Hanks. dance? Yeah. The, the chicken Hanks. neck. Yeah. yeah, the neck dance. Chicken neck dance. Merton if you guys don't know about Merton Hanks, Merton go back. Hanks. He was a you know oh four time Pro Bowler. That's do every time he turnover or sat, he would do his dance all the way down the field, yeah. just neck flapping back and forth. <laughs> it was money. I would do it. I'm throwing none of us had Dion. I was going to pick Dion, Dion but yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't pass on Taylor Mays. No, it's your favorite. Dion Dude. was fun to watch, but no, Martin Hanks. Well, I'll, I'll always remember his dance. Obviously, Dion's a top five corner, <clears throat> top right now. Oh, he's just a, a show. All right, let's play. Let's move yeah. on to baseball. If baseball. people are, uh, are interested, we just did a pitcher, an infielder, and an outfielder. Mm-hmm. So go ahead, go with yours. Oh, my pitcher is Jose Fernandez. Oh, I love out. that dude, bro. He was. A, I did not miss a Jose Fernandez start. His dude. He was his home record. He started like. 23 and 0 at home. He didn't have a single loss. And like people in Miami literally showed up to watch him pitch in Miami at home. Like the Dominican yeah. community cuz he did, right. dude he he pitched lights out at home. Yeah, I think be, because they were there watching him. Unfortunately, he, he got a it. ring too, right? No. No. Was no? I on the Marlins? No, he was on the Marlins whole career. He was, he was a that, lights no, out I pitcher. No, but I thought that wasn't that was that uh after Bobby Bonilla and all those guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. no, he was a Co- youngster. He was after was Kershaw. He was like around the same age. Yeah, he was young. He crushed the oh, Kershaw that's was right. Oh. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm thinking somebody I'm yeah. thinking Felix Hernandez. Dude, like for months yeah, a hey, months this. after he they wrecked the boat, there was baseballs washing up on shore that he had signed. Because right. he would they yeah. would take the boat to the like down there in Miami to like the bar and grills yeah. and stuff, and he would have boxes of baseballs already signed. So he didn't have to stand there and sign him. He just hand him out to people. Ah, fools a goat. And they were like washing up on shore months later. All right, who's your infielder? Dustin Pedroia, I my knew, man. Yeah. Absolutely, Red dude. Sox. He's basically what Derek Jeter is to New York, but Dustin Pedroia is the He boss, just dude. retired. He just he, he was trying to come to. back. He yeah. had to. He, he dude. He, they said he can't even run. Yeah. His knees are so tough. <laughs> He's had like five knee surgeries in three years. His knees are toast. They said he can't even run. All right, it's who's over. Your, who's your outfielder? You know it's Mookie Betts, my man. The best Mookie, the <laughs> That's best your player in all of baseball. He loves Mookie. He thinks he's better than Trout. He absolutely is better than Trout. I like him better, just because he's on the Dodgers now. Right. I, yeah, I mean Mike Trout lives in irrelevance. So. I'm not mad about that, but that's your favorite outfielder of all time. Yes, Mookie Betts. Fair enough. He's he edged out King Griffey Jr. Are you starting with that? No, yeah, King Griffey. Griffey. King Griffey's, uh, yeah. Griffey's, yeah, Griffey's. Yeah, he's in mine. Yeah. Okay, like absolutely. He's your outfielder. Yeah, he's my outfielder, and then uh, let's see here, pitcher, Randy Johnson. Blowing oh, up birds, dude. The bird thing was huge. Come on, that, that, the second best if Randy I Johnson ever memory. If I blew up a bird with a pitch, I would talk about it every day. Dude, the second best. I wake memory. up and be like, "Hey, wi- hey, wifey, remember when yeah. I blew up that bird with my Here, fastball? Let's get up. Let's get on YouTube. Oh. Do just you have remember it thing out? Just blowing yeah. up birds. Do you remember he threw behind John Cruck in the All Star game? <laughs> John Cruck went <laughs> yeah. on the other side, turned his hat on backwards. You know what you hit? That's dude, funny. The big ugly man. Dude. Oh man, the unit. The big unit. The big the unit. Big unit, unit. Dude. Call him the big ugly. That's the best. Time. Not the best next time. The big unit. I mean, blowing up birds. All right, who's your infielder? Not a bad nickname, I guess. Oh, <laughs> Wade Boggs. Just because oh, the beers, dude. Because the come beers. On, come on, the beers, dude. <laughs> drank 108 beers on a flight. 107. Yeah. 107. Yeah, I, I still don't buy it. No. I'm still not. What do you mean? It. I feel like Wade Wade Boggs is built for that. No, no you cannot no, drink like if you 108 bet. beers. There's no way. The only person el- ever that I've heard that can <laughs> do that is Andre the Giant. He drank like 112 in one sitting. I'm losing my mind. Boyd no, Boggs. He batted 328. If you can bat 328, 
You're not, and you're no. built like Wade Boggs. You're drinking 107 Coors Lights. No, he didn't do it. <laughs> no, There's okay. no way. I mean, the legend girl said so this Wade flight Boggs. was from Malaysia Trying to promote or what, you Wade. dude? So flew around the world four times. And it was a hell of a It was in a hot air balloon from Malaysia to here. <laughs> took three years. <laughs> all right. 107 is <laughs> all they could put in there because it was going to weigh it down too much. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. Man. Uh, pitcher, I'm going uh, Kershaw. Yeah, I knew it. Kershaw, I mean, growing up, it was Glavin, which is weird because I'm a Dodger fan, but I, I was left-handed. Right. I'm a pitcher. I love Glavin's game. He just painted corners, but Kershaw's been so dominant the last few years. I mean, not in the playoffs. But he turned it on this the year. Astros cheated, but he got over that. He got over that playoffs tonight this year. He got over the playoffs tonight this year. Yeah, he pitched well. Um, but yeah, Kershaw's obviously my favorite infielders. Uh, I got a tough one. Wayne um, Box. No, I went Cal Ripken Jr. I went between Mike Piazza because that's he's playing in the infield. <laughs> Piazza yeah. was a, he was yeah, one of the guys man. that just set. He was one of the first. He was so bet. fun to watch. He was one of the best offensive catchers of all time, just hitting bombs. Yeah. And my other guy, I kind of cheated. I did too. And Adrian Beltre. Because that fool, Ooh, he was a uh, dude. He's funny. His first couple years with the Dodgers, just right. hitting. Fi- I think he hit fifty bombs one year. Forty for character. sure. He might hit fifty, but he's yeah. He's off the he's field. He went to the Rangers. Still hitting dingers. Still hitting bombs. Do you yeah. remember? Do you remember? You got yelled at for not being in the on deck circle, so he dragged it like twenty feet over to where he was at and stood in it. He got ejected. Hey, you know who was close? He got ejected. It was Raul Mondesi. I was just that about to talk guy, about that. Oh, guy could hit. My, my outfielder, one of my favorite players, one of them, he wasn't my favorite yet, or because Raul Mondesi, though. I watched yeah. highlights of him do, yeah, a cannon. Cannon. Hose he he got a, a tattoo of a cannon. Did you see on. he just got like, he, he got like six or eight years in prison? He did? Really? He was the mayor of uh, somewhere in his, in Dominican. <laughs> in the Dominican? Yeah, and he was corrupt. He was corrupt. And he was taking money or what? He was doing something. I was, reading, on, I was reading the story today. His so his son's in the league. His son hits bombs. He's on the Royals right now, Come Ob- Alberto. On, but I just read the story today because I was trying to look up highlights, and it popped up. Raul Mondesi, six to eight, I think it was six or eight years in prison in ninety no in two thousand seventeen. I think he got charged. He'll be, he'll be out soon. He'll be out soon. Maybe he'll come back. I don't know. Nobody, nobody's taking a punch from that. But guy. no, I like I liked him. But my favorite Jesse Puig. He came yeah. along and just yeah. lit the league on fire, dude. This full of the wild horse. Dude, yeah, just trying to fight if that dude the could entire. Hit a, if he could at hit one a point, I was ball. trying to say he was better than Mike Trout. He, if he could hit a curveball, he would have been. If he could hit a curveball, he would have been. His his yeah. no, it's just his energy level and what he did his for that team. To like the his, game, yeah. dude. His he cannon, put him back on the mat. I hope he he's a, a free agent right dude, now. In the, day, in the game back. he debuted in, he hit a home run. Threw and a guy then out he threw it a guy. No, he threw a guy out on a on on the checkup from the warning track at first base. Yeah, he caught a ball at first base on the warning track. They tried to tag up. Tweet your friend. Puig, oh, your friend. Fun. Yeah, Puig, your friend. I love Yasuo Puig. I hope he gets signed. Um, He's no they, right Bring now. him back. Bring him back to the Dodgers. What's I know the they don't have a lot of... on was the Reds? The Braves signed him last year, oh, the but Braves. then he had COVID and never got to play. Because he they, comes back. They were, so that, did you see that girl agent, that Trevor Bauer's agent? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. That's, she, just, she just signed Yasuo Puig. Puig. Oh, he'll get a job. Oh, there we go. She's He's getting a job. He's getting a job ASAP. Ab- instantly. You see how much money she got, Trevor Bauer? Yeah. All right, let's get to uh, Trevor Bauer's getting Mahomes money. All right, and then we got to give shout outs. Obviously, right. I had shout outs to Barry Bonds. I loved watching Bonds. Like, I know he, whatever, dude, the Bonds the accusations, the Bonds, that full hit bombs. Dang, and as a best Dodgers player. fan, Manny, Ra- no, Manny I didn't Ramirez, like him when he played me. Manny, Manny Ramirez, Ramirez almost I made my list. Nah, I took Mookie. Manny was, Manny was being Manny. That, that was absolutely great. I thought great for baseball. sure that was your album. Nah, I took Mookie. I had more fun watching like the Mar- Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa. Dude, that era. stuff. I used to go home from football practice. took the whole heat out of the whole thing. He was just too big. His neck was like 12. Do you remember every night they had the, they had the home run tracker? Mark McGuire was bigger. No. Jose Canseco just tweeted two days ago. Canseco Mark, just got Mark, knocked Mark, out. We're not no, talking about dude, he's Mark, a bum. Mark Mark Maguire, knocked out. So he's on my hate list. I can't stand Jose Mark Canseco. Mark McGuire hit, corked his bat before every game is what Canseco tweeted. I was Canseco's dying. such a scumbag, <laughs> bro. He's a scumbag. All right, let's get into our least favorite players of all time. Let's start in the NBA. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll start my point. And this, uh, obviously, like I said, the, the most hated. We're not doing that. We don't hate these guys as humans before we get all this backlash shit. Uh, just you either hated watching them. My first guy's right. kind of weird because I didn't, couldn't think of a point guard. Sean Livingston. You don't oh, like him. No. Man, the guy broke his leg. That he head. lost his I leg, bro. he <laughs> broke his leg, dude. He was boring He's to watch. on one leg and you hate him? I think it was be- – no, I don't hate him, like I said. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it was a mixture of 
I couldn't stand how he made every jumper. So when he came back, you're talking the Golden State every, days. Yeah, Golden State. He, every, he yeah. never missed. Every time no, he little came in, 10 foot he'd go seven Money. for eight from the mid-range. Never, And he was no. on a three-point shooting team. It was with Steph and Clay. So right. he comes in to take their spot where you're watching the high He lived in the – he had the perfect time frame to play him because nobody shoots 18-footers, so they don't defend yeah. it. No, you're right. seeing the three-pointers, seeing all the points coming in, and you get Sean Livingston come in. That's what the NBA has. Three lengthy, or a dunk. Three or a dunk. A six-seven point, point guard. wide open at this 12 feet. This guy dislikes <laughs> seven Sean Livingston. A six-seven point guard. Foles making a killing in the league. <laughs> coming in, just hitting mid-range jumpers all the time. It's like, get Steph back in. Come on, let's get the three-point. Like, what are you doing? And he just made every shot, which made me even more mad. You know who? You, you know what's wild? Wild? Story, no, you know what's wildest? You know who Sean Livingston one hundred percent reminds me of? It's Lamar Odom. No, oh, get out! What? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No. Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> he hates one and loves the other. Dude. <laughs> I think it was weird. just uh, so that. Did you? Know, he's so he's the director of the players operations for the Warriors right now. I did. So not he's back that. in the league, but yeah. So Sean Livingston. Oh, he's not going to go away, Pat. All right, my Still shooting guard, Doug Christie. Oh, oh, this dude. dude. He, I think the worst part about him was his tattoo. Kings, bro? His the tattoo he was with white his, chocolate? Yeah, his tattoo on his Mike arm Bibby? just drove me absolutely bonkers. It was a terrible oh, yeah. tattoo. I, terrible. I looked up his highlight reel today. And the he had a jerry five, curl every night. It was terrible. The top five uh, top five plays of Doug Christie's career, they were not good. Obviously. But no, but his defensive, he just... Oh, he just made me so angry. His defense was money. He was grimy. And it was the whole Kings-Lakers debacle. Like, right. Going back and forth, he was uh, I he was kind of the loud guy on and the Kings. He was an ex Laker. He was kind of the loud guy on the Kings. So was Vladi yeah. on that team too. Yeah, yeah Vladi Divac, Bibby, yeah. <laughs> uh, Weber, God, Stajakovic, Doug Christie, Doug Christie, Doug Christie. Yeah. the worst on the starting five. Can he name what college Doug Christie went to? No, but he's the current. I would commentator. assume he went to a scumbag school like North Carolina. So Pepperdine. You know what he looks like is Mike Pepperdine. Malak. He does look like Google. I was losing. I tagged Mike. I I posted a picture of Doug Christie not too long ago, and I tagged Mike in it. Yeah, <laughs> this was I was dying. I was like, please retweet this. But uh, yeah, that whole thing. And then my small Ford is Tayshawn Prince. And most of these guys are because of the Lakers. Like right. they just are a thorn in their side. Remember the 04 finals? Did you guys shoot the exact. He has the same form. Same form. He just couldn't shoot threes, but somehow <laughs> hit threes in the least expected times. Right. And that whole Pistons team, I didn't really. Rip Hamilton. All I can think about Rip him is Hamilton might be better than Sean Livingston with his uh, face mask. <laughs> he, I feel like his face healed and he still wore his face mask. <laughs> I think yeah. if he Other took thing? it off, he couldn't make shots. Yeah, it was a thing. So Chase Sean Prince, Prince, he's the VP of basketball in Memphis right now. This shit, I was looking him up to. I was losing my mind. I'm like, all these guys wow. are working in it. All right, power forward, Joakim Noah. Oh God, I don't like him either. Just his mine. face, I don't know, and his <sighs> game, his free throw shooting. Dude, it spun clockwise. Sideways. I mean, sideways. Shot it sideways. And he just retired? He just announced his retirement? Well, yeah, because he announced it because nobody's going to sign him. Yeah, but I loved his interviews. He just, did, his did you interviews hear what I said? were money. This he fool said nobody wants a vacation. Listen, that's like if I retired right exactly. now from who does? He said, who likes him? Who, who takes a vacation to Cleveland? Exactly. That's no, that's hatred for LeBron. Like, bro, you can't even argue with LeBron. No, I mean, that's a fact. I'm, I'm, do you want to go stay in Cleveland? I feel so, like he rode Derrick Rose's coattails, bro. Whatever. His, he's ugly. His shot's ugly. His free throws are ugly. And the fact that he just – I I tried to look cut, him up to see what he was hair, doing bro. today. Cut your and hair. And it said five days ago, Joe Kim Noah announced retirement. Because he couldn't play in a 10-day contract, I understand. bro. He couldn't play five, six years ago. Why is he just now announcing his retirement? He's going to be playing for the Shanghai Red Bulls in a week, dude. <laughs> All right, and then my center – Tim Duncan. <laughs> just you don't like Let's Tim go. Duncan, the big no, fundamental just, thank dude. You. That's exa- did you say hear what you just said? The big fundamental. He was dominant. Man, dude. I mean, obviously he's one boring of boring player. Yeah, it's like watching paint dry. He's I didn't like, like the, the G- Spurs. He's teams. like the GSP of basketball. Kawhi Leonard almost made my list. That was like but Bro, Tim you put Tim Duncan, you put Carlos Boozer or Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> Carlos <laughs> yeah. Boozer. Yeah. No, you put Carlo, on our Carlos Boozer in the same position. As uh, Tim Duncan. That's not, no. Yes. No. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. Mm-mm. Yes, absolutely. No. Look at the stats. They're no. comparable. You're saying Carlos Boozer is just no. every as good bit as, as, yes. No. <laughs> Tim Duncan is not a top 10 player no. of all time. Stop. He is? No. <laughs> this is, is, great. is Dirk Nowitzki is better than Carlos Tim Boozer couldn't be the best player on a jazz team that had Darren Williams. What do you mean? He averaged 20, like 23 points a game. All right, let's not get carried away. Let's go with That him. is crazy. You can go next. So, Tim Duncan, we share a dislike for Tim Duncan. Oh, you he's skilled, know. but the, the boringness got me. The paint dry, I'd rather watch paint dry on a Sunday afternoon when it's cloudy outside and it's moist inside. Well, yeah, that's the ahead. Spurs, though. That's Popovich, too. Tim Duncan was the leader of that team. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, bro. It was right, just a ahead. great position. So, Tim Duncan is your center. 
Or power Actually, forward? he's my power forward. Okay, good. Uh, but my point guard is CP3. Can't see him. <laughs> Never gonna like him. It was it was a, a toss up. I I could have coin tossed it. It was between him and Tony Parker. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I'm not doing that. <laughs> CP3 is by far. I just really can't stand him. He's never won anything. He's, he's never what? Been, he's what's he won? He's How many a winning record on every team he's ever been. On. How many championships? Okay. None. So he he played it for the Hornets. Took him to the playoffs. Fifty win team. Kobe can't name three players Kobe on that team. What's it? What after the uh, the Clippers. Hornets? He went to the Clippers, Lob City. Oh, everybody's hyped up about Lob City, right? Fifty-five win teams. Yeah. What did they, What do you do? Nothing. Out of the playoffs. Who'd they lose to all these years? Then he goes to the Rockets. Him and James Harden. They're about to wreck everything, right? Him and James. It was Harden. him and Russell Westbrook. No, it was Harden no. and Paul. They were up. Th- to guess be what? fair, they guess were what? up three-two, and then Paul and guess got what? hurt. But guess what? They lost. They were up 3-2 and Paul got hurt. But it's okay. I and get they, it. You don't like Paul. And they lost. But you think then he's you can over-hyped. go to the Thunder playoff team. Lost. They were, first of all, let's now start with, let's 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 start with, now he's going to go to the Suns and the, they got the same second result. best record in basketball. And it's going to be the same result. We're not arguing um, right. results. We're arguing Just personal preference. All right, go ahead. Who's your shooting guard? I got to reel you guys back in for a minute. Ruben Patterson. The Kobe stop. The Kobe stop. Oh, my the Lord, The self-proclaimed bro. Kobe stop. Well, there's been like five of those, but. Yeah, no, you got like Bruce Bowen was up there. You got so many. To me, Ruben Patterson really bugged me. That whole Blazers team was so annoying. <laughs> Bonzi Wills, Rasheed Wallace, all those fools. I just really I disliked them. But Ruben Patterson trying to claim himself as a Kobe stopper, come on, man. The Kobe lit you up for 30, 40 every night. Yeah, Bruce Bowen actually well, was I mean, good at defense. A, I don't think Ruben Patterson was like a defense. Like, Bruce Bowen's a defensive expert. Like, that was three perimeter and D, defense. Right. Perimeter, perimeter defense. But to come out and be like, I, I can st- I'm can, the Kobe you stopper. You can only hope to uh, Kobe that's stopper. Bad. Yeah. No one's a Kobe stopper. All right. Yeah, no, Ruben Patterson. Patterson wasn't. Who's that's like Andre Iguodala winning a finals MVP after LeBron torched him for 35, <laughs> 10, and 10 every game. <laughs> oh, and then uh, small forward, least favorite player is LeBron James. Sorry, Bobby. Oh, I hate I hate to bring this controversy. This guy's absolute <clears throat> no, it's wild. I I really disliked LeBron James just because he changed. Like before, it was all about loyalty. Reggie Miller with the Pacers, Michael Jordan with the Bulls, Kobe Bryant with the Lakers. Like all these guys. Kobe stuck. tried to leave though. Sure, but he did he. He didn't get a chance. No, to. he didn't. But he didn't. He didn't opt out and then say, "Oh, I'm going to go build a super team." I feel like I wasn't ready for the whole league to change that way. And had that's to. the way that's the way the league's changing, and I really just I kind of had to, and it's it sucks because I'm a Lakers fan. So like being a Lakers fan and having to root for LeBron, it's like a catch twenty two. Like it it's kind of LeBron's fault. It doesn't work for me. It's kind of LeBron's fault because teams were doing it to stop him. Like Boston had to do it to stop him. They had to go get KG and Ray Allen because Paul Pierce mean? couldn't do Kobe it. Kobe beat him. Kobe I'm beat. Saying. I'm just saying Kobe beat those guys. And those guys beat Kobe too. Sure. But I'm just – you can't go out and create your own super team. I, I, I really liked it from, like, the owner standpoint to where those guys went out and created their own teams, and, like, that's just the way the business worked. So to go out and free agency and, like, create your own super team, I feel like it kind of ruined basketball in a lot of ways for a little bit. Steph ruined basketball. Stop. All right. No. Now, who's your, do you have one more guy? Uh, or is that it? Let's see. Oh, let's see. Power forward was Tim Duncan. Oh, center was. Oh, uh, center. It was a toss up between Vlade Divac. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> love him in LA. He's getting hate. And, and Greg Ostertag. Ostertag out of Utah, dude. He was better than Carlos Boozer. Ostertag. Yeah. Stop. Now you guys oh, are more dominant. You're, you're muted. I wish I need a mute button. <laughs> I need a mute button. Like so Ostertag over Carlos no, Boozer. Was, Unplug your mic. Boozer. It was literally a toss up because like Greg Ostertag, I couldn't stand him against Shaq. He'd always. Just no, he just haircut bugged me. He the old uh what is that, that Mortal Kombat haircut. He just looked ridiculous. I couldn't stand Greg Oster. He had old flapjack titties too. Looked like <laughs> said the flap <laughs> he, jack and, yeah, Bro, he looked like Nikola Jokic be- oh, he looked before like he Jim, got skinny. He looked like Jim Carrey on me, <laughs> myself, and I yeah, really I did. could not stand the Greg marine care. He had a Marine haircut. <laughs> yeah. He's so got a barber cut. All right, Bob, who's your five? <laughs> oh, let's start at point guard with Russell Westbrook. <laughs> All right, move, move <laughs> along. <laughs> yeah. You guys shoot 14% along. from the field. Uh, my second one is Reggie Miller because he's a jerk. 
So this guy's two of my love guys. Yeah, yeah. Reggie. Because well, Reggie's a jerk. Off, <laughs> Reggie's an absolute jerk. Just because you called him Cheryl, we already discussed. He's this. a jerk, bro. All right, next. Uh, guy. My next one, Sean Marion at Power Four because his of shooting form, like you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this fucking no, guy. No, for real. I literally, I think anybody in our base league basketball team can outshoot this dude. <laughs> he made shots. I don't care. The he Matrix. Made him from seven you don't like feet, the Matrix? Dude. I get him out of the league. He might as well right shot a granny shot. He looks like the dude Lawrence Fishburne from The Matrix. That's why his nickname came from. It wasn't because he was good at basketball. Lawrence Fishburne. His name came from Lawrence Fishburne. Stop. Uh, my power forward is Kevin Garnett. I can't stand this the dude. This is crazy. I feel like what? Just, I feel I like you wrote these down uh, as we were because I'm a telling, LeBron right? fan. No, these are all in my notes because I'm a LeBron fan. That's fair. The guy's an absolute. Just stop, bro. You're you never. Hated him with you the can Celtics. never stop LeBron without four players on your team guarding him at the same time. And then when he when LeBron finally decided to dunk on you which is an iconic play from his Cavs run, you disappeared. Nobody's heard from you since, right. so you started a, a podcast that sucks. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Who's so, your center? This oh, is <laughs> dude. This one is Glenn Big Baby Davis. <laughs> <laughs> one play. This guy hit one seven-foot game you winner on accident. You hated the Celtics for a little bit. Oh, yeah. This guy hit one seven-foot game winner on accident. Act like he was a top-ten <laughs> player in the league. Go sit down, bro. Yeah, he Stop. was annoying. You, I wasn't no. Yeah. You average three points, one rebound, and zero assists with seven <laughs> fouls in your career. Go to the go to the big three, bro. That's where you'll excel. That's where you'll excel. Glenn Big Baby Davis. Those are my dude. I can't stand those guys. All right, kick us off. We'll go back. Kick us off with your NC double. I love the Big Baby Davis. I this dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I shouldn't even give him a shout out. No, you definitely got to. All right, college basketball. Who's your five? Grievous Vasquez as a start. Does you hate Grievous basketball? Dude, he torched Duke twice. And I had to hear about it from Stinson only all two, the all the time. Twice? Yeah. Remember they switched conferences after that. Grievous. Oh yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Grievous Vasquez. Tyler Hansbro. <laughs> oh, he's on mine. That's my dude, number one. I, I couldn't swear stand to him. God, I forgot dude. About him. Oh, dude. Get this guy out of college basketball, dude. He's Gerald, like, Gerald, he's Gerald, Hinder, Gerald Henderson he should have elbowed him harder. But what he I dominated. hated about Tyler Hansborough was like all the hype around him, and he won a national championship. No, you're going to be a bum in the NBA. He was. Yeah, he was exactly. Do you I remember? Do you remember like, he tried to trash talk Ron Artest, and he turned around? <laughs> that fool got so scared. Dude, would you not bomb? Remember Don't be trash talking. You'd be the guy in the Malice at the Palace that steps on the court. No, gets KO'd. No. You're, nah, dude. Duck yeah, he's, he's you would be the guy throwing ball. the beer. You'd yeah. be the guy he goes after. All right, Tyler Hansborough, Taco Fall. <laughs> How can you hate Taco Fall? Cause, bro, I don't he, like the hype, bro. He's in UCF. You, he can't. He can't he wasn't shoot. Hyped. He can't dribble. He can't. What do you mean, bro? He got picked with the first round. No, he didn't. Or, or Taco the Celtics? Fall. How did he get drafted? He was drafted in the second round because he wanted the crowd to chant, "We want tacos." Wasting draft picks. No. Can't stand him. The guy's zero. That's talent. up there next to Sean Livingston. He's zero That's talent. Up. Those are two really bad. He's picks. a zero talent player. <laughs> Fair enough. Huh. Matt Howard. From Butler, Matt Howard. Yes, I forgot bro. about that guy. Do you Holy remember? So Gordon crap. Hayward and Butler what a lose to Duke, name. and then the next season Matt. Butler runs back to the title game, <laughs> and Matt Howard's on TV with. Do you remember he had herpes all over his face on <laughs> yeah, TV? His lip? Yeah, yeah. Lip. can't oh, stand the dude. Man. Just Matt. shut up already. All right, last. Brad Stevens is the only. He could have took five dudes from Kinkos and got to the final four. <laughs> Matt Howard last, just happened. I forgot about Matt Howard. My last one, dude, is Luke May. He comes out my, of he almost made my list. dude out of irrelevance to hit one game winner and then they just put him as oh. the best player in North Carolina what happened the next year. What do you mean what happened to him? Reality caught up. He's he not did. good. <laughs> Wait, the hype Luke died. May? You don't remember Luke May from North no. Carolina? He had one game winner in the, the tournament. Wife. He was like a, a junior, like a twelve year junior, and played seven minutes. Hits a three to win, it. and then the next year he's the no, best I player have in North Sean Carolina. Sean May, but not Luke May. You don't remember Luke May? He looked like Big Country Reeves. Oh, do you remember shoot, this guy? Yeah, he was a fucking bum. <laughs> he said, "What happened to him?" Reality caught up, bro. He didn't make no recruiting or anything. Like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, who you got, Pete? Right now, uh, he's right he right almost now he's, made my list. He's working at a Chipotle. I'm gonna get my burrito made there every week and remind <laughs> him that Duke's better than him. All right, so I'm going back to so this. Got hands, bro. So I like Joe Kim Noah in the NBA. Hated him in college. Okay, Florida. Yeah, Florida. Like the whole Gator clap thing. Like he was just a fool. He was just an idiot. And then they played UCLA. That never stopped. And he was still an idiot. Yeah. Nope. It, well, kind of. Maybe he was. He was pretty fun to watch. So, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, the college Joe Kim Noah, but I was Luke a fan. May, I was Luke a May fan. almost made your list, yeah. Matt. I hate that guy. I got so, Tyler Hansborough. Bro, okay. And I got Sean May. Not Luke May. Yeah, Sean, Sean May. the May twins. The May or twins. May brothers. Sure. Oh, I remember dude. Sean May. 
Sean Where they, they played at um He made it to the NBA though. He played at the Bobcats also. Yeah, yeah he was see, he was drafted so, by the Bobcats. Where did he play college basketball? North Carolina. He did play in North Carolina. See, so I got Sean May and uh Robert Tractor Trailer. <laughs> I literally couldn't stand both of those guys just because like the hype surrounding them. Like, dude, you're six eight, nine hundred and fucking pounds. Like, yeah. Come on. Get out of here. You're not gonna you're 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 bullying college kids right now, and you're not going to do anything in the NBA. Like, you're not skilled. You're just big right now. It's like Taco Fall. Right. So, I, I Robert Tractor Trailer and then Kelly Olenek. I couldn't stand him. Do you guys remember Robert Swift? He lost me a little bit. Baker's of my Out of Bakersfield. All right. I'm going to go into mine real quick. Aaron Kraft. You hated that, dude. From he made, State. He's, so, he's he good. Made he's so good, but he made, like, every time I bet against him, he, he ruined it. me. Every time I bet, if I ever bet on him, he ruined me. And the, the thing that bothered me the most was his little cheek, his rosy red cheeks. <laughs> he played with Greg Oden in comedy, right? He always looked like he, he, played, he, 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 right? he had a fever. He was he always rosacea, red. Bro. I, had rosacea. I had rosacea on my nose. Yeah. yeah, but no, he always was just felt like he was overheating. Like his whole body, <laughs> he just turned red. <laughs> and he would always just hit game winners. It just bothered me. Ohio State, dude. <laughs> Couldn't stand there and crap. He still plays in the TBT, right? He re- he announced retirement after last year. Uh, after winning four focused. straight. Yeah, he was just he's bad, not, betting he's against him for not, four straight whatever. years. <laughs> uh, my next guy is John Shire. God, dude. John so Shire. he scored 21 in high school. He scored 21 points in 75 seconds. I just read this today. Wow. I was looking legendary. Up That's, That's wild. legendary. I think the hatred for John Shire comes from you because you yeah. love John Shire. Greg Paulus almost made my list, but I went Aaron Kraft over him. I don't want to have just team Duke guys. Wild, but yeah, John Shire made the list. Uh, Ethan. Uh, so I got two Badgers on this list: Ethan Happ and Frank Kaminsky. Kaminsky, Frank Kaminsky. The list? I, Frank the no, Tank. That fool ruined me in so many different ways. He's still in the league. He's still in the league, hitting shots. Ethan Happ. I just bugs me. They can't make a shot outside the key. No, he can't I don't shoot. even think he's playing overseas. I think he's averaging a double double overseas yeah. right now. But it's just in the paint. He can't shoot outside the paint. It drives me absolutely bonkers. Got every rebound, just putbacks, just <laughs> yeah. no sk- Like he's just big. Like you were talking about yeah. track for trailer. Yeah. Big for he's nothing. Just big. And then my last guy uh, in college was Omar Sandman. Omar, Sandman. you remember this guy? Yeah, from the Gales. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the hate started. He, ruin- he must have ruined you. Hate started uh, two thousand. What? When was this? Oh, that's game, a, is a that game the game winner? winner? It's a game winner, 2008, 2008 or 2009 in the conference tournament against Gonzaga or BYU, whoever was good back then. I think Gonzaga's been good forever, but he had a three-pointer to win a game, and uh, I lost money, a lot of money on that game. And ever since then, he just was been a thorn in my – not ever since then because he disappeared, but for the rest of his collegiate career, I know he, they won two March Madness games yeah. in his senior year. Right. They beat Villanova one year. As a fifteen, I think it was, and it just oh my, his name. Did he even his did name? He even Omar play in the NBA? I don't think so. He's overseas now, but those are my guys. All right, baseball, real quick. Who's your three guys? My least favorite. Yeah. Oh, I'll start with CC Zabathia. You don't can't, like CC? No, dude, he's a Yankee. For oh, fall. I he the Yankees, Yankee. but I just can't stand the dude. Like, bro, you haven't been good for like nasty. five years. <laughs> you know what I mean? He hasn't been good for like five. You don't years. like CC Sabathia? No, nobody likes CC Sabathia. No. Yankees fans. You know, Paul has like him. a Captain Crunch addiction. Yeah, dude, that's why he's four hundred and fifty <laughs> no, like, pounds. He eats like ten bowls of cereal a day, like yeah, a box. Has, or yeah, that's two. why he had to retire because he good, got though. diabetes. Bro, they're gonna cut his you know legs what the, off. <laughs> you know what the roof is? His mouth probably feels like. God, dude, I can't even eat one Sand Rice paper, Krispie bro. treat. All right, infielder, Ruben Tejada, dude. What? Yes. Do you don't remember this Ruben dirty Tejada? play to, to break Chase Utley's leg in the NL 2015 NLDS? Is it Miguel Tejada or Ruben Tejada? Ruben Tejada. No, I don't remember. Of the Mets. You don't remember the play where Chase Utley I broke his leg? I remember there was an issue, but I don't know. Yeah, it's dirty as hell. Dude. You don't <laughs> cost me money that day. Rugnet Odor knocking out Jose Batista? Well, I mean, that's that's a good – that was a good one. Then Jose Batista came back and hit a – an absolute smoke show with a bat with a bat flip that <laughs> best bat flip <laughs> ruined, like ruined them. Right, who's your outfielder? Jose Canseco. <laughs> it's everybody. The guy's a scumbag, bro. Do you, do my favorite play of Jose Canseco's entire career. Off trying to head. catch a homer and bounce off his head on the warning track, <laughs> go over the fence. Yeah. Good play, buddy. That's a highlight of your career. Yeah, I couldn't stand that guy either. Your book right, sucked, you bro. Uh, my three. This one was tough. Tim, Lin- kind of Tim Lincecum. I mean, the I hair? Wa- yeah, is the hair? I, it was. So I wanted to root for him because he was a five ten pitcher, like the shorter guy, the smaller guy. Cannon on him, but too. fuck, he used to cook the Dodgers, man. In the playoffs the too, in hair, the playoffs, the hair flips and everything else, man. I just could not stand Tim Lincecum. And then I got Jose Altuve, little five foot six, cheating ass dude. 
cheating ass, 120 pound having ass. Like I just come on, man. Jose Altuve, I can't stand he it. Can't it was bombs, it was between him and Manny Machado. Oh, Manny Machado no. will be there next year if we do this again. I love Manny. You think so? Much or uh, Machado and Tatis. Both you don't those like guys either? are on my 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 list. I think Tatis is really good. Tatis. Yeah. I think if Tatis was on any other team, you wouldn't hate him. Probably not. Every, no, it's not every, Tatis. Every Machado is about to be Machado. on my hit list. I like Machado. Machado when he who hit the bomb and was throwing bats when they're down seven one last year. He threw the bat Machado, from home plate right? to third yeah. base. Yeah. Yeah. We let it go. Machado. And then when he was on the he Dodgers, let it out of his hand. when he was on the Dodgers, can't run out of ground ball. Right. All right. Well, well, I mean, and, uh, Manny, Manny Ramirez. Outfield, I'm sorry, but it's Barry Bonds. I really couldn't. Stand really? It. Yeah. Like no. Barry? I wasn't I feel like. Barry. I feel like. I really between... have some hatred towards the Giants, man. The Dude, Giants I've... whooped up on our asses for years, man. And I really, especially with the Barry they Bonds, they were really good, but they were good. But I couldn't stand the whole Barry Bonds steroids thing. And I feel like I... that saved baseball between Sosa, McGuire, and Bonds. Like yeah. those, I feel like they saved base. Nobody watched baseball, because of con- bro. Controversy. I don't no, think they saved the it in a good runs, way. Bro. I don't the think they saved it. I would, if it was up to me, I'd let them juice now. It was a home run, bro. Dude. Just let everybody Nobody juice. wanted to watch Whatever baseball when it was 2 to 1. Well, RBI baseball 2021. Just juice up, just hit dude. bombs. No. The thing was they I didn't know who was buck 20. They didn't know who was on steroids and who was it. No, I disagree. I think those three saved baseball. Put yeah. them in the, the hole. The playoffs are different. I wish you could get juice for the regular season and then just you can't juice for the playoffs. <laughs> there you, you go. You cut off your cycle. Because playoff play. baseball is, is bar nuts. none nasty. I remember last year yeah. watching Will Smith hit a bomb off Will Smith. Yeah. And the video posted that video. Is right. 16, 18 Let's games. Go. And just the manager's decisions making. Obviously, Dave Roberts has burned us in the past. And then obviously, you got the cheating Astros, cheating Red Sox or whatever. Right. Stop it. I'm just uh, Okay. All right, my my list is very similar to yours. I had Linskim written down also, but Madison yep. Bumgarner was a oh, guy that just Bumgarner. I love like I love if he was I want him on my team, but I hated him. He was on the Giants, just talking trash. He was scared his of Yasiel playoff, Puig. His though. playoff yeah. runs were nuts. When you throw near Yasiel Puig and Yasiel Puig almost beat him up about yeah. fifteen times. Yeah. Like I feel like Bumgarner wants that fight too. Bumgarner love he fights he all wants the time. That fight. Yeah, he, I think he he would, he'll he, take he, it. I think he wants. That I think he fighting Puig. I don't think Could you imagine a, a celebrity like? Boxing you, match? You, or boxing UFC type match between yeah, Puig and Jose Bumgarner? Yeah, just seeing Jose Canseco just get How much knocked, just legit. He off. didn't get – he quit. He took well, he a takes dive. takes a shoulder pop time, out. Dude. He's, He's a shoulder, bomb. He's He's shoulder and pop out. He takes a dive. <laughs> I'll fight Canseco. And then same thing, Jose Altuve. I went Correa because I don't uh, think yeah. – I think he was more of a scumbag and how he came out and was like, I, we weren't cheating. We, he denied it all, and then it he came denied out they were. They were yeah. – Altuve still hit it. Like, he still hits, but Correa you know, just Do you know what's one thing? George Springer never said a word, and he, he hightailed it as soon as he could. He's in Toronto. He went to Canada. He, yeah. he didn't even call <laughs> the Astros. The the country. He's out. He's gone. So I'm done with you guys. And then my, Get this my outfielder is Mark second. Trumbo. That's obviously another – Oh, another, God, uh, driving to the Las Vegas guy to walk off. It's a March Madness bet. A lot of minor – Mark Trumbo? Mark Trumbo on the Angels – Hit a walk 2000, it was, it was years like 2010, ago. Yeah. It was one, it was when Imperial Palace still had the uh, walk. me and Pat were driving to Las we Vegas. We were driving to Vegas <laughs> and I had put an eight teamer in ten dollars, ten or twenty dollars. It paid like fifteen hundred. We're and on our way, we're on our way. I get there, bottom I'm nine, seven, baby, I'm seven for eight, bottom nine, baby. Oh, let's go. We're up two, guy on or we're up one, guy on first, Mark Trump up bottom of the ninth, and he hits a walk off home run loose <laughs> to ruin me. <laughs> Two outs, I think it was. Oh, I might have to dude. go back a little bit. Me and Pat were already spending the money, too. We didn't know where we were. It was like 1500 bucks. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Dude, what a start to March Madness. Gotcha. I just sat there at Imperial Palace in the upstairs lounge with the right on boards. They had to update lines with handwritten. This yeah. is how old it was. It was yeah. like two ago. Whatever. It's a trombo. All right. NFL, let's run through these quick. Uh, I'll go. Cam Newton's my least favorite quarterback of all time. Can't throw the ball. He's just big. Can't throw. He almost made my list. Uh, these the football ones were tough because it's hard to hate. Run, like my running back is Sean Alexander. Why do you hate Sean Alexander? Because I'm a 49er fan, and he works. had 20 touchdowns and then yeah. just kind of vanished. I don't know what happened. Like he, I feel like he was like LT for one year, and then what happened? Yeah, yeah LT like, was LT for gone. seven years. Like Sean, <laughs> if you say Sean Alexander to most football fans, not yeah, a lot of football even, fans, they can tell you where he played. No, they don't even know who they he is. Don't yeah, uh, my he receiver. The, he was a Madden. Cover, I think. Yeah, he did make the cover. And then vanished. Then that's where he He vanished. made the bad cover. I'm yeah, pretty he was sure. the cover. That's Madden, like, Madden, like Madden. Madden 05 or yeah. something. Uh, my receiver's kind of weird. Kyle Williams. <laughs> from the Bears? <laughs> I'm looking at you. Is from the Bears? Right 49ers. When the they played the Giants in the NFC title game, and he fumbled the punt return and over. He fumbled the punt return, 
And then in overtime, he fumbled another punt return, and we lost to the Giants in the NFC title game. Worst game ever. I don't hate the guy. Just it's a, it's a It brings situation. up bad memories, yeah. and it's like, dude, I feel bad for him. But I remember at the time, I hit, I did not. I was very mad at Kyle Williams. <laughs> now it's like, I hope he's doing good, whatever. <laughs> hope for the best <laughs> over there, buddy. Hope tight the ends. How's the family doing? I'm trying to – tight ends are tough, too. Like, the top all time, I'm going to just go with Travis Kelsey. You hate Travis? I don't like Travis Kelsey either. Wow. But. He's not a tight end. He's a wide receiver. And yes. he's he's being put in with Kittle. Kittle's a full blown tight end. What do you mean that offense? Kelsey don't block. Okay, this is my beef with, the, with what he's trying to say. I think what he's saying is George Kittle lines up with his hand in the dirt eighty percent of the time. No, I get that. Travis Kelsey lines up in the slot as a wide receiver. So you're hating 95. on the offense, not him. He's not just. He's not, just hate the he's not a tight end. I love Kelsey like the thing, but he's not a tight end. I can't end. think really. You receiver. can't think of tight ends. Uh, maybe you can find a tight end you hate. I found one. Okay, I couldn't find any, so I'm just going. Oh, with, I got a good one. I'm I going love, against. You know, Kelsey. I love Kelsey. Yeah, I'm going against. <laughs> he's Kelsey a wide receiver though, because I love Kittle. I like Darren Waller. Well, he's Waller's a wide receiver because he's playing with Mahomes. Yeah, it's uh, like Jimmy Graham. Defense Strahan, just because what he did, what they did to Brady in the two Super Bowls. Strahan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Strahan. Yeah, he's on my list. Uh, Bobby Wagner, Seattle Seahawk, and then secondary is Richard Sherman. You hate Richard. Prior to San Francisco. I like him now. Crab. He put absolutely but ruined Crabtree. But he just put Crabtree yeah. in a blender every time he played him. And just <laughs> full said, you want to test me with a mediocre receiver like Crabtree? <laughs> He's garbage. Just going on. That <laughs> interview was wild. I was so fired so, up after the game. Try. Mainly because Navarro <laughs> Bowman recovered a fumble, and then they broke his leg. And then somehow the refs gave it back to the Seahawks on the one. <laughs> yeah. But that's the full, They threw it Richard Sherman three it's straight It's tough to plays. come up with the football players you don't like because yeah. it's uh, there's 11 guys. You're not watching like – right. Not analyzing you watch, a linebacker. You watch, you watch for offense. But I'm interested to see who you guys came up with. Oh, okay. I got Ryan Leaf. <laughs> I feel Ryan like the sample Leaf. size was too small to hate him. No. He played for like four games. Number one pick. Had an absolute cannon for an arm. But he had a drug habit. Bum. Bum. Dude, so have you heard they the get, conspiracy uh, dude, theories on this? No. What? The Chargers knew they messed up drafting him. They figured it out that he wasn't who he was, they thought he was. And the conspiracy was that the Chargers got the team doctors to get him hooked on painkillers, so that they could what? get it, so they could get him out of the league, like give him a drug problem, <laughs> get this, this dude out of here. That's what Ryan Leaf came out and said too. That's and wild. then uh, my number two is Bo Jackson, and now only I didn't really like you dislike hate Bo, no, Bo listen, Jackson. Listen, let I didn't. Hear, let him I didn't dislike Bo Jackson as a player. I disliked him on Tech Mobile. Oh. <laughs> Anybody who ever used the cheat, it was a human cheat code for Tech Mobile. Yeah. Like you couldn't, you couldn't tackle him with no. eleven guys. It was so them. frustrating. I used to have buddies come over. Oh, I'll pick the Raiders. Oh, okay. Bo Jackson just cool. torched Go me home, for four hundred and twenty-five yards. Home. They would get in that pile, yeah, and they would all fly off, and him. then he's done. And then just he breaks off. Yeah. It was like Jerry Rice kind of in that game. Yeah, yeah. and you go back to the Can't end zone, throw it the full length of the yeah. field, and he, there'd it. be all eleven oh, guys yeah. in a scrum, and they'd be like touchdown, Jerry Rice. Yeah. Yeah. I want to play that yeah. game now, though. Tech Mobile legend. Yeah, so Bo Jackson's up there. Heinz Ward. Couldn't stand Heinz Ward. Couldn't I'm looking it. at you sideways right Couldn't now. Couldn't do it. The full best, block, I just hate the it. best I, blocking wide receiver I, of all time. I think it was his face. Back, probably Larry Fitzgerald. His face. He looked like a Cabbage Patch doll. That dude, so had, that think, dude was like, loyalty, though. If you, if you on his team, you I blew somebody up, man. he I, would find a just, day. I, he just would bug, I literally, for some you reason, up. found a way to dislike Heinz He just bugged you. He just bugged me. one of those guys. Face. And then I got Mercedes Lewis at tight end. Mercedes <laughs> Lewis. Hey. Bro, this guy was a UCLA, like just torching everybody at UCLA. And then he comes in. I think he was a first round pick. Yeah, he's the only first round pick that Rodgers has ever thrown touchdowns to, right? <laughs> Dude, what's crazy is like, yeah. you know, year after year, you're looking at Mercedes Lewis on the fantasy football draft. Never. That guy draft. never freaking produces. So no, you don't on, draft him. Yeah. So he's up there. And then uh, let's see, I got Michael Strahan just because of oh, his okay. teeth. And because uh, <laughs> of his teeth gap, oh. Bill Romanowski, another uh, every bad word, haircut. Every word Michael Strahan <laughs> speaks starts with a whistle. We'll say that I don't like Strahan because of teeth. Romanowski, bad haircut. Can't wait. And for he played there. for the Broncos. And uh, we got Jalen Ramsey. You don't uh, like Jalen Ramsey? I don't. Huh? I don't. He's a shutdown guy. Yeah, no, I, that's good. For yeah. common guys, I'd be up there. Yeah. Who died? Who, oh, Richard Sherman. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your guy? Oh, let's start. Your, let's start hot. I'm gonna start with Dak Prescott. Whack Prescott. Yeah. Whack Prescott, dude. It's he just got paid. Yeah, he instantly became number one ever rated, overpaid player in NFL <laughs> history. 
He was about to set records last year. He led the league. Oh, was he? He led the the best passing performance for a team that won three games? (laughs) He led the league in passing until like week nine, and he only played five games. Yeah, and he won one game out of five. No, they were three and two. Sorry, guys, through five. I can't. I love it, dude. As an Eagle fan, I, I'm celebrating his new contract. I'm they just fuck, go into irrelevance. There will be another be eight and eight team for the next four years. I love it, dude. Save Mark, Eagles get nine wins and win the division now. Richard, save this clip because this will be. Oh, this is coming in next hot, football dude. season. Well, you know, next season they're only going to be able to start eight defenders in Dallas when they got to pay Amari, Zeke, and Dak. This will be a clip. Can't for even afford sure. eleven guys on defense. All right, go ahead. My running back is Cedric Benson. Okay, <laughs> and this is why, bro. <laughs> this is why. Okay, I started fantasy football yep. many, many moons ago, dog. Yep. It was a long time ago. I get to the fantasy football championship. I want to say my quarterback at the time was Gus Farrat. This is how long ago <laughs> this was, okay? Yeah. Right. And Cedric Benson, I'm going to this title game, comes down to I have Cedric Benson left, and this guy has nobody. I'm down like 4.4. I need 44 yards, dog. Cedric Benson is like a third best running back in football right. at the time. Let's go. Coming in hot. Right towards the end of the first half, this guy has like 38 yards. Yeah, 38, 39. Yeah, yeah. Right in there. I'm like, all right, we're going to sail over the 44. we got a whole other half of football. The Bears yeah. are leading. One Let's carry. go. One carry. One carry. Oh, they gave it to him. Picks up two yards to get the 40 and breaks his leg. <laughs> That's it. My season's over. I was so mad in the second half. I'm like, get this full out here and let him hobble for four yards. Yeah. Give me my dub. I, so I can't stand Cedric Benson. You can't. I mean. I mean, he's probably a good guy. Yeah. I don't want his autograph. <laughs> you would turn it down? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Get away from me. Bro. <laughs> Call security. Get this dude away from me. I swear to God. <laughs> Call security. Dude. Out. Get him away from me. Uh, my wide receiver is Nate Aguilar. Nelson. Or Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Nate, Nate, yeah, whatever his, his name is. He I doesn't even him. want to. I'm trying to name. put him out of my misery, dude. But uh, because in, in Philly, he can't catch a ball, dude. This guy's got yeah. stumps. Like, he's got stumps <laughs> for hands. Okay. The only he's catches got he had got for hands. Dude, the only catches he had in Philly got stuck in his face mask. <laughs> <laughs> so then he goes to the Raiders and he can't drop a ball. This dude's catching 40 touchdowns a season, it seems like. Every time I turn on the TV, Aguilar, Aguilar. touchdown, Aguilar 40 yard touchdown. These are all true. Yeah, uh, it's over. The f- screw them, dude. I'm gonna skip my tight end. <laughs> screw them. Screw them. I'm gonna skip my tight end for last. Okay. All right. So my the lineman I cannot stand is Indomitian Sue, just because he's if he gets frustrated to the minimum, he's the dirtiest player alive. Yeah. This guy should have been banned from the league like four times. Yeah. He yeah. hasn't. You haven't heard from him a while. The, the, no, he was but, dirty back in the day, dude. I mean, he's got a ring. He's stepping on people. He's stepping on people. Stepping on people. On yeah, people's he's chest. Yeah. The cornerback I can't stand is Revis. Because every time Are I see silent, I loved yes, it, dude. I loved it. No, because I get stuck starting a receiver in fantasy <laughs> football against the Jets, right. and they'd have one catch for it's nine. It's funny yards. how all these are. Most of these are fantasy yeah. related. Most of them are like they're so good you hate them. Right. It's never like you, you can't win with them. Yeah. You know, you just yeah. can't win against them. Right. You know, if you were good, a good corner, it wasn't because of Revis Island. No, it's just because of the situation. Because you had to start guys. Right. He against was the Revis. most. Right. He was the most common denominator in my sorrows. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So my tight end, dude. And this guy, he's a tight end. He was drafted as a tight end. I don't know what <laughs> they're doing with him or why they think he can play any other position, but it's Taysom Hill, bro. I don't think he was drafted as a tight end. I don't care what he, he was He's probably drafted as an O-lineman. Yeah. I don't care. This I know. He's, you, a dual, you, he's a dual guy. You were mad about it most of this year. I don't understand. Like, why did they sign Jameis Winston? They, I get it now. They signed him to be a backup. doesn't right. matter who starts. He's the backup. Yeah, like he's the he's the backup to Drew Brees. Drew Brees gets hurt. No, Jameis, you're the backup. So we're gonna start Taysom Hill. <laughs> right. You're still the backup. We we'll start Taysom Hill. We can't throw it 19 yards, but we're gonna start him. You're still the and backup. not you because you're probably you're the backup. contract. They probably put it in bold print. Backup. Yeah. Period. Right. Yeah. And he I'm was like, "Wait, contract. I don't get a play." No, no, you're the backup. <laughs> All right. <laughs> UFC. Let's get into UFC real quick. That's it for the all the hate list. UFC. We'll talk real quick. Bob, I know you. Have some strong feelings about Aljamain Sterling and Peter Yan. What a terrible way to Would determine you th- a title so, fight. After some time, Aljamain did nothing wrong. Right. He didn't break any rules. He wasn't outside the rules. The doctor stopped the fight. Like, Yan's in the wrong. It's 100% on he Yan. He broke the rules. It's 100% on Yan. He, he created the whole situation and... 
it's I mean Sterling didn't break the my rules. favorite thing is what Sterling's doing now even two days later we talked about it while we were watching the fights how you how he's like milking it the rematch is going to be a money fight it's going to be a massive fight he's kind of teasing Cejudo come he's he's him and Cejudo are going back and forth talking about a title fight Yawns just pissed all the, it, all so, the all the, every person on MMA Twitter today. I, I kept they kept saying they posted the BMF belt and they said who who deserves this. I commented Aljamain Sterling. Oh my lord! People were coming after me all day. Oh I love yeah, it. and it's just I think he's doing the right thing. He's getting his money. He's getting paid as a champion. He needs to build up the next fight, whether he, they love him or hate him. It's perfect for him. And I, I said next fight I'm putting money on Aljo because he's going to be. Whatever. I think he comes out better. Some guy there, he's going to make adjustments. Yeah. And there's people are writing, they're writing me like you ain't putting money on. So come back bet. to it I when it's a rematch, Aljamain. and I will, I will be betting Aljamain Sterling. I think I think one of the biggest problems for Aljamain in the fight was he the pace he set early. Yeah, he's not going to do that again. He won't do that. He won't make that mistake. I thought he set a pace way too high to maintain, and you could see it. He got tired. Yeah, we'll see that. Uh, what do you think about the main event, uh, Jan and Izzy? Expected. I, it was expected. I mean, I, a lot of. I mean, I thought we both thought Izzy would win. I thought he would outplay him, but I mean, Jan, look, his hands are fast. Like I thought, absolutely, Izzy would outstrike him. Yeah, and he didn't even do that. Jan matched him strike for strike. Jan got the takedowns. Jan just manhandled him, just beat him up the whole way. All right, last one. Well, um, uh, that'll be quick. Nunes and Anderson. Obviously, Nunes is a goat. Uh, predictions for this weekend: Muhammad and uh, Leon Edwards. Um, I'm going to take Leon Edwards. The really? After the layoff? Yeah. Like, but, well, I, I'm not necessarily the layoff because, I mean, he hasn't fought since like July of 19. Yeah. Two, but Leon years. also has done three camps to true, fight. That's true. And they've been canceled. So it's not like he just hasn't been, you know what I mean, ready. He's, I think he's stayed ready. What's and Baleel Muhammad's on a turnaround. Like, he doesn't have any they layoff. fought February. Yeah, this is a short, short. What's crazy is, so I've watched UFC a while, like, decent amount. I've never seen Leon Edwards fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't fought in a year and a half. He hasn't fought in almost two years, but he he hasn't fought. He's His last Nancy fight was did. Jorge Masvidal in the back. In the back. That was when he beat, he beat RDA, his last fight. <laughs> and then he got a fight with Jorge. He got beat, beat him up. up, so his yeah. last fight he lost. Yeah, it was Jorge. Uh, three-piece in a soda, or was it three-piece in a soda? Mm-hmm. His la- that was his he last fight. Give him the three I'm piece taking Bilal soda. Muhammad. But Bilal's looked good. He's a he's plus 210, too. The odds are favoring Edwards heavy. Yeah. I'm taking plus 210 all day on that. Yeah. All day. I can't bet on French the last Montana. Last card, we went 5 and 1. He looks exactly Dominic like Cruz. French Montana. He does just, look like French So I Montana. can't take him serious. Remember the And name. he does it on purpose. You see the glasses he wears? I don't think he tries to look like Belo- French Montana on purpose. Do you see the glasses he wears? Yeah, but he I don't think he's purpose. like. No. No? I don't even think he knows. He, you need to tweet him. I don't think he knows he looks like French Montana. <laughs> what do you mean? Somebody's told him. Think so? If he, if he has a Twitter, he knows. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. Oh my lord! I'm asking. <laughs> I'm putting a picture. Actually, no. I'm gonna do. I'm putting a picture of French, French Montana, Montana and Bilal Muhammad next to each other and be like, "Is French Montana fighting this weekend?" That might get some. All right, guys. That's it. I know the episode ran long tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Next week we got the best episode. The, my most. I'm most excited for this episode. March Madness. The March Madness bracket breakdown. I don't know who's coming on. I might have nine people in this thing. To give their sleepers, give their picks, whatever. Winthrop is one of my favorite picks so far. We got what Mr. to win games? Yeah, to win a game or two. Mr. R, his guy's last name's Arms. We got your boy Vodrin. Vodrin's in there. Uh, Zion Williams' dad's playing center for Winthrop. Um, who knows? So tune in next week. We'll uh, see what's up. Thanks for tuning in. Woo. Later.